Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Let's continue with some calamity. Normally today would be oxygen not included, but after the last couple of days running around with my hair on fire trying to get my CPU cooler replaced and working, I would like to just de-stress a little bit. Fritley, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, so Calamity Mod just updated whether I approved or not. I certainly hope that isn't going to break anything. I guess we'll find out. And since Calamity drops the frame rate a little, let me just turn this thing off. There we go. Uh, that is an awful lot of buffs. Probably because the last thing we were doing was fighting bosses. And why don't we go sort out our inventory? We've now got souls of might. What can we do with those? Um, I think we've got all mech bosses now, actually. Let me just double check. Uh, yes. We've only got eight souls of sight, but the twins are probably the easiest if we want to repeat them. Um, but let's see. Souls of Might, we can of course get the Mega Shark. Although, I expect the Mega Shark to be rather mediocre. Um, I mean, it's already a little mediocre, but. It, it, I expect it to be rather mediocre for Calamity, actually. 30 range damage, extremely fast. It's a material now. Oh. Megalodon. 36 range damage. Fires streams of water every other shot. Does extra damage at point blank. Every gun does that. Or every ranged weapon. Interesting. And that is still a material, because of course it is. I'd definitely like to kill Duke Fisher on next, unless I guess the boss log would have a few suggestions for us. Um, but Duke Fisher on is a really, really good boss to kill. If you can pull it off relatively early, you're going to have some strong stuff for a long time. But then again, maybe because it's Calamity, they're not that great by comparison. We'll see. Uh, what's this? Queen Slime? I think I already placed the Queen Slime Relic. Yep. Let's clear out our inventory first. Um, don't need a demonic hellcart. We've got, uh, Terra Spark Boots. Stack this away. And what else can we do? True Knight's Edge, Avenger Emblem. What is that? Gauss Pistol. Magic Damage. Um, that is all familiar. Angel Treads. One soul from each boss. Five Essence of Sunlight. We've already got that. Harpy Ring? I think that's just a red drop from Harpies? Question mark? Harpy Ring. It said double right click to see dropping NPCs. That appears to be nothing. Recipes? Oh, two aerolite bar, five feathers, one star. We can make that right now. Let's see, aerolite bars. Can I, here we go. Let's make a few of those so we can always stack them. Uh, feather and star, wasn't it? Feather? Hey, Mucky. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, that's a lot of stuff we can craft right now. What, what station did we need? 
Uh, half beavering, sky mill. All right, cool. That narrows it down, actually. I've got the. I've got one here, actually. Here we go. Happy ring. Fantastic. Increased. 10% increased movement speed is quite a lot. Maximum flight time by 20%. We combine it with. Uh, we combine it with. Oh. With Terra Spark Boots. Alright, so we need Essence of Sunlight and one of each of the Mech Boss's souls. Uh, mech Boss souls. Gimme, gimme. And where did I put Essence of Sunlight? Probably here. There we go. Uh, and what kind of crafting station do we need now? Angel Treads. Mithril Anvil. Fantastic. So now we have 36% increased running acceleration. And presumably all the things um, that we get from Terra Spark Boots. Water and lava walking, immunity to on fire, temporary immunity to lava. Um, it doesn't say honey, but I can assume honey. Lots more movement speed. It's still a material. It says extreme speed! Exclamation mark. Nice. Greater mobility on ice. Increased flight time. Yes, please. Alright, let's get it. And when do we upgrade it next? I wonder. Uh, we need any wings? Core of Calamity. Luminite Bar. Okay, we're not we're not upgrading this for a while. But the next one has ludicrous speed. <laughs> it's still a material. Uh counts as wings. Acceleration, lots of running, speed, water, mobility, mobility on ice, water, lava walking. Yeah, all the same stuff. It's it's just mashing again, mashing more stuff into the one place. Uh, let's get that re-rolled. I'll take warding or menacing. Warding is probably better, honestly. Like, Menacing is always just plus 4% damage, Warding keeps getting stronger, and it's got damage, percent damage reduction as well. But how much does this cost to reroll? 7 gold? Are you joking? That's... that's crazy cheap for what it is. Alright, well, those are the best boots we can have for a long time. What's next? Where'd the guide go? Um, what am I looking for here? Soul of Might? Lightning Hawk? Magnum? What's this? Sun God Staff? Hell yes, we can straight up upgrade the Sun, uh, the sun Spirit Staff. 73 summon damage. Um, yes. So all... Essence of Sunlight and all the mech boss souls. Let's grab... We're running out of souls of sight, but I think we have enough. And then we get our... Sun Spirit stuff. And let me guess. Anvil? Anvil. Sun God stuff. 73 summon damage. Oh my lord. Uh, we've got both of them at the same time. Um, well, considering that this is straight up stronger than the first one. Wait, what? Alright, let's, let's get rid of that. And it's still a material. Summons a solar god spirit to protect you. There can only be one spirit. Seven mana. Who cares about the mana cost? Alright, we're not upgrading this again until we've got Exodium Cluster. Ruinous Soul. Luminil. That's gonna be at least five minutes, I would imagine. 
What? Who is standing here? Oh. You sneak. Let me use the pylon. There we go. Reroll this to Ruthless. Fantastic. 86 summon damage, and just to be clear, we're not playing Summoner right now. I wonder if the eye thing is a material. It's not. That makes me a little sad. That makes me more than a little sad. Let's try this thing out. Where can we find targets? Why don't we check on our... Uh, our trees. Our gem tree farm down here. Get those diamonds. Why is my inventory... Oh, right. Because it's full of buff potions. I guess this isn't quite big enough to get monsters spawning here. Or maybe it's because there's NPCs nearby. Alright. Oh, here we go. Wow. Okay. Um, the eye is still the only one that has... that hits through walls. But this is much, much, much stronger. I mean, as expected, right? Let's plant our diamond... gem cords. What's next? Let's put the... I guess I don't have any more gem coins. Let's put these away. Or oh, they're probably in the void bag. Uh, yes, they are in the void bag. Let's fix that. Down we go. Don't tell me. I'd better check. Someone said they were going to nerf um, the slime mounts. Oh, hello. Could you be persuaded not to, actually? Thank you. Better go get that soul. Fantastic. Now, supposedly they were going to nerf... No, we still drop at 102 miles per hour. We're fine. Let me just close some background stuff. I'm still feeling this is a little slower than I would like. A little slower than Whoops. I would like. A little slower than Whoops. Okay. How's this? Maybe not. Um, let's stack these things away. I need to kill the twins again. What time is it? Perfect. We can start in two minutes. Um, I think our potions are all pretty good, except heart reach won't help us. Magic, damage, thorns, sure, why not? Uh, seafood dinner. Good. This will do. Doesn't the dwarf... Where's the dwarf? What are you doing here? Get get out of the demolitionist's home. How dare you. Um, don't tell me we don't have a home for the demolitionist right now. I think he got killed by... What was I going to say? The Destroyer. I was going to buy Endurance Potions off him. I'm pretty sure he sells that. 
the wizard just straight up sells potions of return? Yes, please. Hal's heart. It's a summoner thing. You sell. You just sell rod of discord. It's only nine plat. Well, I guess we're just supposed to have rod of discord in calamity. No problem. I thought I was so lucky finding it. I mean, statistically, I was. But oh well. All right, it is seven thirty. Let's get our buffs. Let's make sure we're wearing the right armor this time. Where did I put it? Here we go. Although it probably doesn't matter that much for the twins, to be honest. 81... 73. Wait, what? I thought we found that the Crystal Assassin gear gave us more damage. Oh well. Um, could, could you... could you know, actually. And I don't need two suspicious looking eyes. I do need... I never actually had an item to summon the twins. Uh, I think we need to fix that real quick. We need iron. We need... do we need iron? Probably. Uh, we need at least six lenses. And probably something else. We need six souls of light, and we just need an anvil, actually. We don't need a demon altar or a crimson altar. Souls of light. I've only got two. Oh. It's all slipping away. So I need to get, like, at least four souls of light, and then quickly make the item to summon the twins, and kill them before we run out of time. That's one. That is not... oh, it is two. Fantastic. I'll take the crystal shards, we don't have a lot of those yet. Three. Four. Hey, Morpheus. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And uh, thank you very much for the sub. Very much appreciated. Eight months, wow. Another Twitch baby on the way. Got everything working cooler-wise in the end? Yes. Uh, a little later than I would have liked, obviously. Um, but we got there eventually. Um, I got a Be Quiet for the CPU cooler. And I had wanted to get a Be Quiet for the, uh, the system fans. But they were just never in stock. And the Noctua ones were. And I figured, like, they're a little expensive. But I figured they're gonna, we're gonna keep those from, like, one build to the next to the next. So anyway, I have a Noctua for uh, for the system fan, and a Be Quiet for the CPU cooler, and it is so quiet. I absolutely love this. Um, I'm. It's too early to say that it was worth the effort because it was an absolute nightmare, both getting the old stuff out and installing the new stuff. But we got there eventually, we didn't permanently damage our motherboard somehow, as far as I know. As far as I know. Uh, yeah, we got there eventually. Thanks for asking. It's all I could do to shut up about it for five minutes, because it's been an ongoing ordeal for the last two days. 
Alright, um, I've probably got all the souls I need, right? We've got 13, I don't know how that happened, but I'll take it. Let's get our mechanical eye, and we should have plenty of time. It's midnight, we can probably do this. Yeah, I'm sure we can. How many mana potions? All of them? Great. Oh, I want to kill Spaz first. Oh, that's... I forgot there was a tree there. Oh, okay, I haven't played this map for five minutes. It's fine, don't worry about it. Let's get rid of the mini-map. Just so I can see over here better. Oh, I got hit. I didn't count yet. Boing. Try and hit them both at once when I can. Not the way you're moving. That was close. And... Flip again. Whoop, nope, nope, nope. I couldn't slow my ascent with the wings with gra uh, Gravity Potion. Could you transform already? Perhaps? Could you be persuaded? No? Okay. You're, sir, you are at 40% health. When are you going to go mechanical? Or extra mechanical, I guess. I don't know. How low do I have to get him? I thought it was like half health. Here we go. Alright. Now I just have to make sure that I get some distance whenever he's going to do his flamey thing. And the rest is pretty easy. There we go. And then we flip gravity. What's my gravity timer? I can't see it. 54 seconds. For, on the grab potion. It's not a good thing to be unaware of when it runs out. And fall away. There we go. Now we can take out time for a bit. Get some distance. Get some more distance. There we go. And fall. And what's gravity on? Nine seconds. If we can kill Spaz right now, I don't think I really need another grab potion. There we go. Oh, maybe this would be faster. I doubt it. But the fact that it triple hits and it seeks, it never misses. Uh, it's nice and easy anyway. Oh, it's flicking the wrong way. What's my DPS right now? Uh, 280 peak? Alright, what about now? A little bit higher. Yeah, definitely significantly higher, even accounting for the missing. Oh, that's that new biome. Oh, I was concentrating too much on not missing shots. How much time do I have? No, I ran out of time! Ah, uh, what a waste of buff potions. 
You know, if you never look into your case again, you won't notice any damage until it eventually breaks. Oh no. I was actually very pleasantly surprised when I looked into my case. Like, um, I haven't gotten into there for like probably 15 months and it was shockingly clean. Like, of course it had dust in some places, but like compared to what you might expect, very, very nice. What's all this? What are you selling that's new? Momentum capacitor? Your top speed will continuously and uncontrollably increase while using it. Um, okay. 56 gold. Is this an accessory or do I place it? Do I... What... Do I have to hold it in my hand? Is that how that works? Is it like a weapon? Uh, okay. Okay. All right. Oh my god. Oh. oh okay. Okay. I... Why? When I... I, I dash... Sometimes I dash in the opposite direction from what it flings me. <laughs> Gotta go fast. This is so weird, the way it works. I don't really... I don't really want to use a weapon slot for it, though. Good gravy. Maybe sometimes? I guess I'll keep it in the piggy bank. That's something. Alright. Um, I want to just be absolutely sure. I don't know why Calamity drops the frame rate so much, but I want to be absolutely sure I've done just about everything I can to minimize everything else. It seems like I have. Okay. Just have to get used to it, I guess. We'll do the twins again in 12 minutes. I guess we'll do a fishing quest while we're here. Caught in desert. I wonder how we'll get to the desert. Uh, let me put these gems away, actually. And crystal assassin gear. I feel like I'm missing something. Shouldn't the DPS have been higher on this? 81 magic damage versus 73. Does it have more crit? Movement, melee speed... 5% crit chance, but this probably has that. 12% magic damage and crit. 73 and 17. 81 and 31. This is just better. Except for the fact that you get a free dash out of this, so you can have a whole other accessory slot. Which, come to think of it, Oh, I, I have not created the Sorcerer Emblem. We could make it a Celestial Emblem already. Celestial Magnet. I think there's a way to make that now. Oh. Oh, really? I thought we needed, like... Okay. Treasure Magnet and five stars. Please tell me I kept extra Treasure Magnets. I'm pretty sure I kept it. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. That is at least seven uh, extra treasure magnets. Fantastic. Where's the guide? I kind of like this interface a little better sometimes. Um, magnet flower. Twelve percent reduced mana usage. 
But there's probably other upgrades we can... Huh. That's interesting. The Mana Cloak is only 8% reduced mana usage, but this is 12. Calling star, uh, causing stars to fall when taking damage is not that exciting in my opinion. Most of the time. Do we have another... I think I need to make one. Nature's Gift plus... Could you move? Th thank you. What is this? What are you selling? Stylish scissors. Ignores 100% of enemy defense. Wow. Gentleman's beard. Wingtime hair dye. Speed hair dye. I think I've seen almost all of that. Now then, give to me jungle robes. And we're going to make... What are we going to make? I thought something needed... Oh, here it is. Mana Rose. I thought we were able to make... Um... Oh, here it is. Mana Flower. We actually just need Nature's Gift. Plus Mana Potion. Whoops. You know what? You can hold on to that for now. Who's selling mana potions? You. And let's see. So this is 8% reduced mana usage. This is 8% reduced. It's still a material though. 15% increased magic damage. Holy crap. That's not for a long time though. Um... Don't... This doesn't do anything in single player. So actually the Magnet Flower is kind of like... Arguably just straight up the best. Because of, of another 4% reduced mana usage. Even if we also... I guess we're not upgrading this for a while. Well, I want to make one of these anyway. A uh, Celestial Emblem. We need Sorcerer Emblem. I think we've only got one. Nope, we've got a million Sorcerer Emblems. Okay. Alright, cool. I don't think we need Stealth Generation on a Mage. Um, what do we need? Tinkerer's Workshop? Fantastic. So I could use the Crystal Assassin gear. We'd lose one of our no-sale, not-take-damage things. However... Um, we could have another 19% magic damage. Reforge. Menacing. Fantastic. Oh, you can actually put this in accessory slot now? That's nice. And let's make this one menacing as well. Fantastic. So plus 19, plus 19.
Pardon me, I failed at hydrating. Okay, I don't want to spend too much time on it right this second. Oh, what is this? Revengeance mode is not active. You don't say. You can just click this now? What happened to our uh, summon thingies? Well, regardless, I want to get a little shack here temporarily for the wizard. And the party girl. Um, this is where we're going to build our wizard tower in any case. I might have to get rid of the... Uh, the media here. I kind of like it though. Look at that positioning. But it's probably going to kill our... Poor little NPCs. Let's go forward. Chair. Couple of doors. Can we do 40 back walls? We cannot. Let's get some more. That knockback though. I think, uh, I don't know if they would have changed it or anything, but I recall media heads very occasionally dropping media. It's a pretty terrible way to farm it, though. It's incredibly slow. Uh, how many more of these do we need? Twelve. Nope, ten. goes here. Wait, we gotta move the, uh... I don't have a light source here yet, actually, but we need to move our NPCs in the nanosecond that we can. Otherwise, we're gonna get the demolitionist moving in here. Hey, evil plot. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's go door... And you know what? Go on. And now we need, what was it? 48, I think. Perfect. Alright, so this one is going to be wizard. Missing a chair. How dare you. Um, I need a workbench. I need not these distractions. This will help. And wizard. And party girl. And now we should get the demolitionist moving back in. And I'd better get rid of these meteors, otherwise our NPCs are going to die all the time. And media heads. I want to dig away as little of this as I can, because I kind of just like it. What a cool landing spot. As soon as they stop spawning. Well, as soon as the music changes, which will be the same thing. time now. No? 
How, how many more blocks do I have to mine? Messing up my lovely meteor. Calamity easy? Indeed. Alright, let's let's see if it still counts over here. It seems like they won't spawn if we're here now. Alright, did we get our demolitionist? He probably won't spawn until daytime. Which means I can't buy another endurance potion. I guess I'll just have to make it. It's 8.30 already. We need to go. Hello, pylon. Can't go there. Uh, endurance potion. I require armored cave fish. I already spent them all. Uh, fine, we'll use the last one. It's an emergency. We only get one. Rip. Alright, I think we're ready though. Mechanical eye. Buff potion. Focus on spares. I would like to hit the ground so I can get my light time back. Even though we can just flip gravity. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Gotta be a little bit more careful since we've only got one uh, invulnerability every two minutes. But we do have more deeps. So we won't have to keep it up as long. It'd be a lot more difficult if he led the target. Whoops, there goes our dodge. Alright. 115 seconds until we can no sail another shot. Little bit more distance. There we go. Get some room here. And swap sides. Swap gravity. What timer out is our gravity on? 20 seconds? Seems good. Let's swap again. Don't run into the clouds. That would be bad. Whoops. 3k damage to go. 2k and a half, that is. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh no. I don't want to use another grab potion. There we go. Rip the clothier. How much time do we have? Four minutes? Let's 
Let's see how deep's here. 240 or so. 30k to get through. Uh, can anyone math that real quick? Should probably just use the laser. It might have actually cost me beating them last time. Messing around with the uh, homing. Whoops, not what I was going for. Oops. We're not taking a whole lot of damage. Yet. And dodge. Are you gonna shoot or what? Well, you're going to be shooting a whole lot more now. There we go. That's not what I meant to do. Okay, 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 okay. And above. That was slightly poorly timed. Probably easier to run under him when he's doing the rapid fire. Just maybe. And what do we got? Two minutes? 4k health to go, seems good. It really just keeps getting faster with the, uh, or more frequent with the laser spam. There we go. Fantastic. What's this? Pair of eyeballs. I think I'm already carrying that as a pet. Calc. Apparently Twitch chat is not my Windows start menu. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, my backpack's full as well. Let's quick stack some of this. I should have put... Maybe I should have put the uh, chests closer to the ground so I could just sprint above the base and quick stack things. But this will give us our souls that we're looking for. Uh, and we now have more souls of sight than anything else. I can't remember why we needed souls of sight. Um, was it to make an Avenger emblem? Probably not. We already got angel treads. Um, I don't remember. Looks like Philip and Kate are throwing a party. Fantastic. Give me cake. Thank you. And this can't be opened anymore, <laughs> okay. What do we got here? Nothing unusual. Uh, oh yeah, I was looking for the demolitionist. I guess he's not back yet. Demolitionist. Seems that way. Cosmic Bolter. Lunarian Bow. Did I make a Lunarian Bow? Plus Hallowed Bar, plus... I don't know what Living Shard is yet. Uh, maybe it'll be a bit more clear if I come up here. I know I wanted to make... Um, here it is. Logic Sensor. 
player above. Iron plus wire plus mithril anvil. Let's go get wire. Whoops. Uh, what did I just get? Clothier's Wrath. Lol. 69 magic damage, 3 shadow flame skulls. Do those seek enemies? If they seek enemies, this would be very good. Although I guess the... I didn't re-roll my rainbow rod and it was actually 10% less damage than normal. Whoops. It doesn't even seek. Does it pierce? What's this? Show me if my attack pierces, please. It does. Alright, it might be good. Anyway, what was I doing? Uh, going to re-roll some stuff. So let's not forget the... Uh, Rainbow Rod. That's much better. 92 magic damage. It's more damage per shot than the laser rifle. A lot more mana, but it hits three times. Still less mana efficient. And probably still lower DPS even for something like a boss in the sky. Um, there was something else though. We've already done our accessories. You can't re-roll the Rod of Discord. Um, I don't know. I don't remember why I was coming here. It wasn't for the Rainbow Rod. I figured that out on the way. Oh, it was the wire. You absolute dub. Give me a single piece of wire. And iron bars. And a single soul of sight. That gives us a logic sensor, player above. Red and white monkeys, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. This will probably do. Alright, we're going to swap this out. We're going to get, if we don't have already, call me red, no worries. If we don't already have it, we're going to get some... How do we even make it again? I'm pretty sure we need heavy workbench and or sawmill. And it's... Wood plus stone or maybe iron... Uh, here we go. Planked wall. Stone. Alright, where do we have some stone? Here we go. Fantastic. Planked wall. Give me some of that. Just for convenience. No worries. And just to make it look a bit more, I don't know, legit. Maybe some planked wall down here. And then we're going to put wood of some kind. I don't think pearl wood looks very good for this. I think just regular wood is probably fine. Oops. Give to me that block. Thank you. Nice name, by the way. Thank you. Let's put this away for the moment. Um, I don't know if we're ever going to use the trapdoor again, but I'll just put it put it away somewhere. And we're going to need some wires and actuators. Can I get rid of those wood walls? Actuators, wires, uh, grand design, 
And I don't want to use red wire because we've always got that visible. How about blue? And... Like so. And can we get... I do wish we could set it up so that we just can't see colours other than red, as opposed to having this faded. But, yeah, basically... Oh, that doesn't look quite right with the background walls. I could probably widen this a bit as well. Whoops. Oh, what a waste. Well, it lasts 30 minutes. It's... I'm not gonna say fine. Why don't we try... some actuators here? And... It kinda works. I think the wooden... I think the planked walls there don't really work. So maybe just regular wooden walls at this layer. Oh, we can only see wooden background walls when the actuators activate anyway. Or well, they're, they're actually not wooden background walls technically, they're just wood. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how to complete the look here. Can we sell this already? And this. And I, I'll just put this away. I probably don't see myself using. Well, let's test this first. How many things does it pierce? All of them! Okay. That's... That's good. 1742 DPS. Okay. What? Can, let's compare it to the harp. I think the harp has it beat. Just, just by a little bit. We'll maybe... Put that... Put that aside for now. We've got the steampunker. That's nice. Um, let's get our wood walls, right about here. I distinctly remember using planked walls in combinations with these. Uh, made it look a little better last time, but I'm just not seeing how to pull it off right now. It'll do for the moment, I guess. That's what we'll pretend. I'm just... It's about time. I'm going to put back walls in their own chest. And that'll make things a bit easier to keep organized. Let's stack away... Whoops. Whoops. This stuff. That's a lot of meteorites, surprisingly. Apparently I don't have pearl wood in here. Uh, meteorite... Can we do stuff with meteorite that I'm not aware of? Phase blades... Uh, hammocks... Star cannon... Space gun is a material. I'm intrigued. Space gun. And now what? Get over here. Space gun turns into magna cannon. Granite, obsidian, and amber. Okay. It's still a material. Concentrated blast of energy. Um, gotta bear that in mind when we see granite. What's this? Lazar. 
Combine it with the heat ray and solar fragments and chlor chlorophyte bars. Fires a bouncing lighter that explodes on enemy hits. And it, of course, like everything in this mod, it is also still a material. Let's put that in magic for now. Oh, it's raining. Um, we never got the ice armor, did we? Let's get that sorted. But first, whoops, whoops. Let's grab our stuff of regrowth. Head to the desert. Redo our water leaf. We're probably so far ahead of water leaf now that I shouldn't even bother, but let's keep it that way. Fantastic. And you know what? I'm just going to cover the desert in water leaf, because why not? We've got so many seeds right now. Oh, and we already got some out of that. Random growth times. They make sense. Alright. Back we go. Fantastic. What would I need? I think I need a bit more deeps before I try for um, Duke Fisheron. Maybe I could go for Mega Shark. Like, I'm pretty sure we can make it right now. I definitely want to try the thing that Mega Shark turns into as well. We need illegal gun parts. Oh, and I almost forgot we need to go to the ice place while it's still. Why are you not selling illegal gun parts? It's night time, isn't it? It is. What? P90? <laughs> 10 range damage. It's a bullet hose. It's also a material. Traveling merchant has departed. I didn't even notice he came here. Um, so how do we get... Illegal gun parts in Calamity, I wonder. I just destroyed some of that water leaf that I planted. Oh well. It turns into a couple of rather late game things. Mini gun? Good grief. Well, let's just put that in here for now. Or in here for now. I'm guessing I could have bought that a long time ago and it would have been quite enjoyable at the time. Um, so how do we get illegal gun parts? And in most places. I don't. Gun parts. Uh, not what I meant to do. It's not a drop. Do we need to not have, like, four people here? Is that what this is? Okay, okay, okay. We need, we need to go get that. We need to get those ice golems. Wait, I did get the ice golems, didn't I? I think I remember now. Someone was saying the sound of them was... Uh, not their favorite sound. But I don't see frost armor. And I don't see ice golem... Uh, those fragments is lying around anywhere. Oh, here they are. Frost core. Okay. I think we need four to get everything, though. At least. Yeah, let's get another one. Seven thirty p.m. Oh, did I actually try too early? All right. Well, this is our priority first, though. 
get those ice golems, or a ice golem, and then we can get literally everything that we could ever want with frost cores. Oh, there it is, already. Ow, what did I run into? Ow. Well, this is working. Wait, come back, come back, come back, come back. Thank you. Whoops. Uh, I pressed the wrong thing. There we go. Two point three K remaining. Something like four more shots. Fantastic. What is that? I don't know, but I'll take its money. We could do some Blood Moon fishing, but if we get Dread Nautilus, we need to flee. Alright, back we go. And... Oh, that's right. We need Adamantite and or Titanium at scale. Before we get the Frost Armor. Alright. Let's check. Legal... Gun parts. Fantastic. How many things do they go into? Recipes? That's a lot, actually. Um, would it be overkill to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of these? So I don't have to remember it some other time? I need 1.6 plat. That's like nothing, honestly. Yeah. That's, I think that's the way to go. Let's put those in this chest, I suppose. No, probably here. And then... Do we have everything we need for Mega Shark? We need five shark fins and a mini shark. Mini shark... Have I actually not got mini shark? I guess not. And we have a whopping three shark fins. Okay. Still only goes into this and Star Cannon. Superstar Shooter is a material, so I think I do want to make the Star Cannon as well. Star Cannon. Fantastic. And I guess I need to go out of my way to get some shark fins. Oh, and I forgot again, I do want to make, as difficult as it's going to be, I do want to make an undersea base here. Because otherwise it's going to get in the way of the fight with Duke Fisher on. Um, should probably get a water candle and a battle potion, actually. So that we can get sharks nice and quickly. Aziz Light. Let's put down a workbench. What's with this music? Oh, it's a storm.
All right, so we have water candle, we have battle potion, we have dark and stormy night. Surely we can get some sharks spawning. Maybe I should make it the blood moon as well. That would probably help. And hopefully we don't get any spawns that are more than we can deal with. Oh, I, oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. That, that was, that was rude. Um, the angler has quote unquote left. Sorry, angler. Potion of Omniscience is a little bit rich for this, but it's fine. That is a lot of stuff coming from the left. And not any sharks. Literally zero sharks. Oh, that's a shark. Alright, this will probably work. It's actually an incredibly cozy spot to farm. And I still haven't fixed my inventory with the void bag. Whoops. Knockback though. So far, we only got one shark pin out of this. What if I come down here, maybe? We won't get stuff that spawns on the ground. It sounds like we are getting stuff that spawns on the ground though. That's a shark. Here, sharky, sharky, sharky. It's already the end of the blood moon because it's morning. So we got a whopping two fins. What, what the heck is that? What the? No. Uh, did I just trigger a boss fight? I, I guess I did. Should probably use my buff potions. Let's do that. Invincible. But there's a health bar. Okay. Here we go. Ow. Wait, wait, what? Involuntary flipping of gravity? Okay, alright. We've done almost 10% damage already. I could use something that does more deeps. Oh, that came out of nowhere. I could use something with higher deeps, but I wanted to concentrate on movement. Fun, indeed. Schlurpus, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Kunf and Jimbo, Panda, welcome, welcome also. We do have five shark fins, at least. Let's get our mega shark done. Do we have everything we need? We do. Fan. Fantastic. And the upgrade for it is not happening until we get... I don't know how advanced this stuff is. It's from the Abyss, so probably kind of hard. Depth Cells, Luminal, and Tenebris. Considering Archerfish does 11 damage, I don't think that's going to be... Particularly late game? How do we... 
How do we see how to get it? No, Archerfish. Uh, items. Archerfish. Dropping NPCs, none. Crafting, none? Question mark? Do we just buy it somewhere? I don't understand. Wow, that's a base all right. It's a start. Just check. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so what's our... Without, like, rolling it or switching to Ranger or anything, we're looking at almost 500 DPS. Whereas our laser rifle with just one target is, like, 250, 260. Yeah, that is an improvement. Um, why don't we get this thing upgraded? Reroll. Oh, wow. That is... Is this spreading? I hope it's not spreading. What? No. 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 I... I forbid it. Sit down. Alright, Unreal Mega Shark, go. Fantastic. Now I want to play Terraria again. I'm getting that a lot. I'm actually... There's like... Two people that I'm vicariously enjoying early, like, newbie Terraria through right now. Alright, uh, we need a ranger emblem. I don't think we have one. Still. I think that's the only emblem we don't have. So we need to go kill the wall of flesh. Um... I think this gear will be just fine for that. And... I don't want to spend stars. We're putting the star cannon away until we upgrade it. In fact, can we upgrade it already? We can. 12 hallowed bars. Did I actually re-roll this to Unreal, or did it just start as Unreal? I don't recall re-rolling that one. Super Star Shooter. And the next upgrade to that is Starfleet. Okay, we need to kill the Moon Lord. And we need Electrosphere Launcher, which comes from Martian Saucer. Alright, that is getting put away for now. Um, Shadow Flame Bow can go in here. How does this work again? Does it pierce or anything? It actually pierces? Oh, that's huge. It pierces and does the Shadow Flame debuff. That's... that's quite nice. I should probably do a bottomless... Um, musket ball. Uh, endless musket pouch. Endless quiver. Endless quiver is a material now? You can make the magic quiver with it. Instead of just counting on it being a drop. Okay. But uh, nothing more special in terms of what this actually does. 
Um, and I'll put these away as crafting materials. I'll probably put it in a chest. I was going to say a chest near the mithril anvil, but why don't I just make another one? It's not like we're going to make mithril armor or anything. So this can go here. I think we need a workbench though for some ammo recipes. Chris, mithril anvil, 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 mithril anvil, anvil, crystal ball, anvil, anvil, anvil. Okay, so musket bullet recipes all require anvil. But I think the empty bullet recipes, they want, most of them want workbench. All right, fine. Um, I guess I'll leave a workbench here. And I guess we can't really squeeze in an ammo box here. Unless I put it here. That is unreal, indeed. I tried playing it on stream, I didn't enjoy it for some reason. Terraria? Um, maybe... I think... I think for early playthroughs it's probably nice to just take your time, you know? Alright, um, I wanted to kill some of this stuff. Actually, the only reason I want to kill this stuff is so that we can get... Ah! Uh, so that we can get shark fins quickly. I could probably stand to make some decent ammo as well, especially since our stack sizes are redonkulous now. Explosive ammo on the Mega Shark would be very good for this environment, because the shark can't hide behind the the sand. Whoa, okay, I didn't think you could turn around that fast. Okay, all right, I see how it is. There's there's two of them actually. Okay, could could you be persuaded to calm down, sir? Should probably be using something a bit more explosive for the segmented worms. That's a shark. That's what I'm looking for. And we're still not getting any shark fins. I think the sharks at the ocean are actually 100% on shark fins. But these ones are like 12.5 or something. We do need more fragments, so I guess I might as well do that. Do again. Oops. I should get a dart launcher so that we can apply another damage over time. Dart pistol or dart rifle, it doesn't matter that much. There we go. Give me that fragment. Alright, stack these away. Empty bullet, I should probably buy more of these. I almost forgot I was getting ready to farm the wall of flesh. 
We don't really need Wrath and Rage potions for this. This is very easy at this point. Don't need Gravs, don't need Thorns. Don't need Potion of Omni. What's this? Summons a Sand Ele Oh, I remember this. Yeah. Put that away in Summoner Gear. No, that's not Summoner Gear. That's Road Gear. The Shadow Flame from this wand, if I'm not mistaken, lasts a lot longer than the Shadow Flame from Shadow Flame Bow. Let's see. It does. It lasts a lot longer. He was -z 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 up. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Nazori should watch this. I don't know what that means, but welcome, welcome. So we're we're not going to be using this just to apply damage over time. And I think the laser rifle is stronger in terms of getting piercing value. So if we're doing hybrid, we'll put this away for now. Um, don't really need the harp, it's super specific. Like, we mostly just got it to kill the destroyer. Won't be needing mana potions, I don't... Yeah, I think... Well, this is all overkill for the Wall of Flesh, so I'd like to just conserve my potions for the moment. Um, I still haven't sorted this out, so let's do that. Ammo rack we'll just throw into our yo-yo collection. Uh, tin helmet? Why do I have tin helmets? Where did I get these? What? Get out of here. Magic daggers. Um, we'll get a better price over here. Let's sell the stuff that's actually worth something this way. Ice feather! We got ice feather! Um, it actually synergizes with... What do we need here? 20 souls of flight. Gimme gimme. Uh, the Ice Feather, the Frozen Wings, that is, actually synergizes with Frost Armor. Looking forward to trying that. Also, hi. The goldfish that dropped the magic daggers dropped tin helmets. Interesting. Cosmoa, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright. Once we get the Ranger Emblem, I'm going to mine for some Titanium and or Adamantite. Because I really want to give Frost Armor a try with all this. Flying Fish Banner. Well, oh, banners go in here. Wings. I think we were keeping... Was it in the movement chest for accessories? That makes sense. Uh, leather, we do need, oh, for a lot more than expected, actually. Uh, let's put leather in, the pre-hard mode ores and stuff chest is looking very full. Why are they healing potions? I remember, actually, it's so that we can make life crystals out of, um, rubies. Urchin Stinger is rogue damage. That's a lot of redundant stuff. I'll just leave it there in case I'm desperate for money at some point. I think I already had a brain song somewhere. Yeah, we've got two of these. Alright, 
anything else? Quite a lot, actually. Can we stack it all? Not really. I think that's our second Philosopher's Stone. Star Cloak number two. Let's make ourselves Star Veil. And we can combine that with Charm of Myths. That is very attractive. We need Astral Bars and Sea Prisms. Okay. We've already got one Charm of Myths. Uh, Cosmoa, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Where is my Band of Regen? Maybe I shouldn't throw away my last Band of Regen on a second Charm of Myths. Since it can go into something else. Let's just put this in here for now. Um, hook is still just for grappling hook. Get out of here, hook. Tin helmet. Stardust. Crusaders. Uh, you can make fallen stars. Astrum Deus. Alright, I guess I'm putting that in uh, hard mode calamity chest. Same with Essence of Illum. Bear Noodles, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Not sure why we didn't get a sound... Uh, sound notification that time. How is you? Not bad. Actually, pretty good. Uh, very relieved and enjoying the fact that my CPU cooler has been replaced. Backup failed to generate for mix it up. Okay. Not too worried about that, I don't think. Um, the follow sound is separate from mix it up, but I did apparently forget to... There we go. Forget to run mix it up today. Sell the magic dagger. Is that our third rain song? We can sell that. I actually quite like dual hook. Does it have more range than the diamond hook as well? 29.125, 27. It's less. Launch velocity is significantly higher. Reel back is significantly higher. Pull velocity is the same. Yeah, it, it's marginally better. And we can also stay in place while we use it again if we want to. Aziz Light! Aziz Light, indeed. Essence, thank you for the follow as well. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, Give me a moment. I'm just going to check on... If Streamlabs has fallen over somehow? Um, we don't need a Hallowed Torch. We can make that any time because we've done the Torch God thing. Should I sell or keep a collection of hooks? It, it look, we're, we're already keeping a collection. Let's do that. Down we go. And ruby gem cons go here. Alright. Well, I'm having to log back into Streamlabs, so that might have something to do with it. Is Cloudbot active? It looked like it wasn't for a second there. Okay. Broke my leg in three places. Yikes. Two metal plates and four screws. I'm sorry to hear that. Lord Emperor Posh King Maza. Nice name. Thank you for the follow. I've been following for ages. Uh, okay. Maybe that's why it wasn't making a sound this time. Who 
Who's the next boss? Um, I want to do Duke Fisher on relatively soon, but according to, uh, according to the boss checklist, uh, putting aside the Pirate Invasion, Dutchman, we've got Cryogen. Although Cryogen is ranked behind all the mechanical bosses that we've done. There's Aquatic Scourge. Acid Rain Post AS. That looks like an event more than a boss. Oh, here we go. Next boss, the Hive Mind. Isn't the Hive Mind this thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we need Corruption. Which, unless it's changed with Calamity... We need to talk to the Dryad during a Blood Moon. So we can get the means to create a... Oh, we've got two more Cross Necklaces. Fantastic. Uh, what was I trying to say? Um... So that we can make corruption in this world without going to another world. Uh, we need to talk to the Dryad during the Blood Moon. Do we have something? Yeah, we've got Goblin Tech. Right, where does the utility stuff go? In here? Cryogen isn't really needed. I do want to kill everything. That's why I've got this uh, trophy room right here. I checked how many bosses there would be. Honestly struggled with cryogen more than with mechs, really. Interesting. Um, do we have guide voodoo dolls? Fantastic. I'm sure they'll drop way more than we need before we get there, actually. Maybe I should make a teleporter so we can go straight here. It'd be a lot of work, but... Well, it wouldn't be that much work, especially with, um... What are you doing here? No! No, that means the... The dwarf hasn't come back yet. Oh, no. Um, I do need to buy teleporters from you, though. I don't know, how many more times are we going to kill the Wall of Flesh? Whatever, let's just do this. And... I'll come by the Clan Terminator later. Let's go get a million wire. And... Let's use the Grand Design. Um, I guess... Yellow for the teleporter? And I'll just do it from probably down here. I need a touch plate or something to activate it as well, but we won't bother with that until we're done. Actually, I should probably bring the means to activate it. That would save some time later. Okay. Uh, let's put it here, I suppose. And then... Away we go. It'll be nice not having to think about... Can I be bothered making this trip again? Alright, how do I get through here? Here we go. Uh, let's see. Get out of here, bat. I already messed this up. I'll take the butterfly. Some yes, not all my favorites though. Been wanting to play again, but waiting for mods to update to 1.4 first. I see. Uh, cut that. Paste this. 
I gotta watch out for demons. Voodoo demons. I do not want any accidental summons. Even now. Also, those ones are actually really strong. Well. And... go. Thought that was missing a tile for a second there. gotten outside of the demon town yet. Oh, did I just... Am I actually out of wire? How far did we get? Like, one... fifth? One quarter? And we had, what, 1400 wire, I think? Something like that? Alright, let's get 10k if we can afford it. Oh, wow. Okay. That... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Be gone. Alright, let's not step to the right side of this house. There we go. 10k wire seems good. Electric wiring through liquids? Yes, always. Zavoxifol, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so we, we got maybe a fifth of the way through this, but once we do this, uh, we won't have to make the journey again. I guess I could have made a minecart track, but nah. Actually, that would be more work, especially when we have to go through the buildings. Particularly when we have to go through the buildings. Oops. Oh, wow. Look at how quickly this thing just deletes the demons from before hard mode. I have to be really careful. Maybe I should deactivate it. I, I really don't want to summon a random wall of flesh. Okay. Um, three, we go. Doing good, you? Fantastic. Really, really happy to have swapping my CPU cooler behind me. And as an added bonus, uh, I got myself something a little nice to have that I'd had my eye on for a long time. I was going to go with Be Quiet, but... Um, I, I did go with Be Quiet for the heatsink, uh, for the CPU cooler, but for some, uh, what do you call it, system fans? Like, just case fans? Um, mostly because the Be Quiet was not in stock, I went with a Noctua. So I swapped out, um, my dead AIO pump for a giant... Be quiet, regular old heatsink for the CPU. And I put a Noctua in the side of the case, or rather the top of it. And now it's 
just incredibly quiet. I absolutely love it. Um, the cooling's not bad either. But suffice to say, after installing it, um, with my CP, with, with my computer case on the desk, completely open, right next to me, the fans were much quieter than the hard drive. Oh, whoops. That was, that was an, that was an oof, that was an ouchie. Let's not do that again. I have three Noctuas and would love to replace all of my fans with them. Yeah, and they're going to last, right? They're going to be something that I put in the next build or two or three. So in the long run, it's really not that expensive. Cool, glad you got all those sorted. Thank you. Um, I did have... For the CPU cooler, a, a certain Noctua suggested to me, um, but I couldn't quite justify dropping... Oh crap, pick that up, pick that up, there we go. I couldn't quite justify dropping almost $200 on a CPU cooler right now. That's, um... That, that's a little bit much. Although, certain things that I've bought specifically because I was streaming, uh, even if I make one dollar, I have to report it as a small business. Um, so I may as well try reporting those things as business expenses. Somehow I don't know if it would necessarily go my way if I went for one of the most expensive regular CPU coolers though. I don't know if that would make a difference or not. My CPU cooler is really passive. One of those large blocks and sitting in the case airstream. Yeah, uh, the cooler that I got for this uh, Be Quiet is gigantic. It barely fits in my case. We're here. Fant. Did that just appear? I th I think that might be a mimic. I'm pretty sure that's a mimic right there. What do you know? It's a mimic. Nothing mimics drop die in lava. They're too precious. But let's try and get it all. Titan glove, dual hook. Fantastic. I'd wish I'd brought a few bricks so I could make something slightly fancier while I'm here, but let's just put the teleporter about here, I suppose. Could you be persuaded to... St okay, okay, okay. 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 Alright. Uh, teleporter goes here. And I want to remove all of that extra wire and bring it up this side. Fantastic. I think I forgot something on the other end. I think this isn't going to... Oh, it does. But... No, I didn't forget it either. No, 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 don't kill that, don't kill that. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Um, I think we're ready though. We don't really need buffs for the Wall of Flesh at this point. We'll use spells for the piercing stuff and Mega Shark for the direct damage afterwards. And away we go.
I could maybe go for an Avenger emblem, since it's class neutral. But I think for this hybrid, I'm, I'm just going to go for ranged damage when I do a boss fight. And the magic damage is more for multi-targets and stuff. Maybe laser turret, like a laser rifle would be better here. And then. Seven damage from the laser is not a whole lot. Maybe I should just use the laser so that we don't have to worry about hitting the hungry use. I don't know. Range leveled up. Fantastic. Maybe I should just get some actually good bullets? That'd be a good idea as well. Maybe I should remind myself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Let's not get stuck here. Fantastic. How far did we go? Uh, surprisingly far, actually. Maybe not that surprising, considering that I didn't use buff potions or anything. Alright, please tell me we finally have our Avenger emblem. Oh, you, you're immune to Shadow Flame. That figures. Give me your essence. Um, since I can go back to start that fight whenever I want, now that we've got the teleporter, let's just go back home. Do you have your shark tooth necklace? I do have one of those. Oh, and I unequipped the brain of confusion ages ago and forgot to put it back. Whoops. Hey, C. Moogle. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's put away our wire. And... I want to make all the room in my inventory before I open the goodie bag. I think we're good now. Hang on. I want to have one spare tool hook. And bait goes over here. What's, your, what's our fishing quest? Underground and caverns. We've got ages. Sell the wall of flesh relic. I could maybe put this higher up so that the trapdoor doesn't open when I'm jumping up here. In fact... Why don't we do that right now? Uh, let's see. That's a bit much. How about... Yeah, that seems good. Probably cut those pieces of wire. Fantastic. Alright. We got... Warrior. And the Black Hawk remote. How are you? Quite good, thank you. Uh, very much enjoying the fact that my computer works. After a harrowing experience, both removing the old, uh, what am I trying to say? The old CPU cooler 
or rather the bracket behind it. And of course installing the new one. Put this here. Happy for you, thank you. Also, Azela, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I need a playthrough where I don't play just as Ranger. Force yourself to play. I, I did a playthrough not long ago where I was doing only expert, but it was the first time I went through the game without building boss fight arenas at all. Um, or at least that's the first time I made it explicit. And I, 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 just for, just to spice it up a little bit more, I added another condition whereby if I die by accident, I switch class and I only played strict classes. Like I'm not even allowed a weapon that does the damage, uh, uh, that does a damage type that I'm not, you know, not the class I'm playing at the time. Fighting the Eye of Cthulhu early in game with nothing but melee damage was an interesting challenge. Uh, but yeah, it, it's actually the first time I really tried Summoner and I liked it more than I thought I, I would. Definitely opened my eyes to some builds and strategies a bit. Too scared to put anything as business expenses. Don't want to give the taxman a chance to find an excuse. Yeah. Well, we'll see. I'm actually still procrastinating. It's it's probably pretty easy. Um. No, normally, it's just fill out a form real quick, um, online. But this is the first time I've had to report other than like wages. Meow Tactic, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. No bouncing on Destroyer with gel Gelatinous Pillion since summon damage? Well, I mean, it's up to you where you draw the line. But yeah, if you sort of give yourself some arbitrary limitations to force yourself to play classes you don't normally, um, definitely kind of broadens your horizons a bit. Um, I want to keep killing the Wall of Flesh. We've got a guide. I want, I definitely want to pick up these free Nightcrawlers, though, while they're spawning. I want to get down. It doesn't work as well when there's a surface next to them. But, for example, throwing out a uh, homing missile and then switching to Mega Shark works pretty well on some things. Any more enchanted Nightcrawlers tonight? It's a lot of stars. Oh, and Deathweed is blooming. Let's go grab some. Stay ahead of it. Oops. Fantastic. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, the dodge that I don't have... Uh, the dodge that I have right now doesn't block enemies from damaging me if I slam into them. Should probably bear that in mind. Uh, what's this? A bird? A bunny? What bullets should I use? I think I should just use the laser rifle against the um, uh, wall of flesh. Magic power and regen. Well, we don't really use regen in the boss fights. 
uh, magic power potions are not... It's only 10%, didn't it used to be 20? Or am I only thinking of archery potions? And we can actually just buy rage and wrath potions. So that's like 30% DPS increase right there. Why is my summon gone? Oh, I got rid of it because it was going to kill... It, it was going to kill a demon. And prematurely summon the wall of flesh. That's a pretty good reason. I do want to bother to get some better bullets before I go, though. Should have a bunch of crystal shards by now. 50 or so. Seems good. Where's our bullets? Crystal bullets are really, really good for... Oh, that's... Sure. Let's go 5k. Crystal bullets are incredibly good for how cheap and easy they are. Alright, teleport. And... Uh, guide Voodoo. Away we go. Fantastic. Let's use our buffs, but not all of them. That's actually looking pretty effective. Nice soup. Ouchie. Alright, let's pick all this up. Let's open our goodie bag. Where's my goodie bag? Why is it down here? Okay. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Alright, what do we get? Ranger emblem! We did it! Finally. Away we go. Even more extreme, hit an enemy with a pickaxe on accident and you're not doing melee? Reset. You're right about it being 20, seems they nerfed it. Hmm. There's a lot more buffs you can get with um, uh, with Calamity, though. That might be one of the reasons. Or the reason. Can we get... Uh, menacing, thank you. And I think this is our third warrior emblem. Let's make ourselves... Uh, where is it? Make sure the one that you want to consume is left and or above the next one. Uh, one of each type of soul. I think we have to take these to uh, the Tinkerer's Workshop. No? Maybe I'm missing something else. It's actually five of each at the Tinkerer's Workshop. Also, we could make a mechanical glove. Also, what the hell was that? Something... No, I think I misread it. Um, that's the wrong layer. We're actually out of Souls of Might. But I don't think we'll be needing any more until it's really easy. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, I don't think we'll be needing any more until it's really easy to kill the destroyer. 
Not that it's particularly difficult right now. Um, where's that glove? Oh, it's probably in here. Yeah. Titan glove, I think? Or was it mechanical glove? I think it was mechanical. We need feral claws. Can we make feral claws? We actually can with just ten leather and an anvil. I don't think we've found any, have we? No. Uh, we can use rotten chunks or rather vertebrae to make leather, I think. There we go. And feral claws. Power glove. Mechanical glove. True melee damage. Auto swing, size, damage and speed. Knockback. That's quite a lot. And of course we can turn it into the fire gauntlet. And of course because it's calamity that is still a material. Okay. Um, I definitely want a menacing Avenger emblem. If we're going to use a slot for damage, I want more damages. And Menacing Ranger, fantastic. I could maybe have the Menacing Celestial Emblem instead of the Mana Cloak. I love that about Calamity, you craft something powerful and see it's a material, indeed. Alright, so... I think this is actually the strongest, yeah, it is the strongest ranger, ranger set we have right now. Hybrid damage, ranger damage. Uh, let's put away the mana cloak. Actually, what else am I going to have in there right now? Knockback? Well, Obsidian Shield should probably be warding. I can't make the Ankh Shield yet. Do I have another Obsidian Shield? Not really. I think I've got, um... Yeah, I've got like two spare Cobalt Shields. Let's do that. Obsidian on shield. Do I not... Do I need something else? Oh, obsidian skull, specifically. And then... Tinkerer's Workshop? Lucky? I don't think so. Warding, please. Warding, please. Warding, please. There we go. So that is actually 13 defense in total. For a total of 85 already. So our double damage class currently has 85 defense. Um, but also... I could either use Hallowed so that I have one more um, invulnerability, or we could go for Frost Armor. But if I go for either of those, I need to put on the Shield of Cthulhu and sacrifice an accessory slot. So I think I'll go for this for now. We'll, we'll, we'll try it anyway. Uh, I need to sell Goat Skull, Black Hawk Remote. I'll keep the Obsidian Shield. We're not selling these. Okay. And what bullets should I use? 
actually the uh no the bow that I could make isn't as good as the mega shark all right let's put away our specifically mage stuff let's put our spare obsidian shield in here let's check our void bag fantastic I think, well, first of all, we need to make an undersea house. Um, probably not too deep, because this is just going to get more and more slopey here. So I'll maybe start, like, here. And I was thinking maybe we could have kind of airlock and then a dome-ish thing that reconnects with the sand, the, the natural curve of the sand here. Preferably something a little bit like this, actually. But I think I would have to steal that the material from one of these bases to get that really nice curve. Alright, I think we're approaching maybe the extent of how big I want to build this. Xenon, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I won't worry too much about what materials I use just yet. I definitely want glass. don't know what else. We'll have a teleporter, well, well not a teleporter, a pylon to come in here anyway, but I would like to make an airlock. Um, I'm gonna need a tall gate. And I need to check that Tollgate fits here properly. Uh, that would be iron plus wood. Tollgate. I still haven't... I kept saying I would do a fishing quest. I haven't done a single one today, have I? What time is it? 3.44pm. Oh, that's actually a perfect fit. Okay, let's see how far do I want to put this. Maybe about here. And after that, I could look up how to do a perfect curve, but I kind of remember, I think, from last time. How many was this? Five. That is a smaller dome than I necessarily had in mind, but it might work out. What if we go here? That could work. And then we'll have... Maybe platforms here. Floor here. Some stairs up at some point. Let's go get a pump sorted out. We need iron and we need wire. I think that's all. Iron plus wire. Alright, so we need an inlet pump and an outlet pump. I'll need a sensor... I think it was a sensor and a timer, and it activated kind of like a latch. 
How do I make a water sensor again? I don't think wire is involved. I could be... Oh, here we go. Liquid sensor. Five cog. Magic water dropper. And a wire. Um, where is our steampunker? Still... I still haven't got the dwarf back, have I? Alright, five cog. We need a magic... An empty dropper. And then... How does this work? Crystal ball plus water. Okay. Um, can I put this over here? Lend me your crystal ball, please. Thank you. And then we can make magic water dropper. Which I think is normally used for something like this. Oh, I just wasted it. And yeah, that creates water drop. So buy another one. Water plus crystal ball plus magic dropper equals magic water dropper. If you insist, I will murder you. There you go. And... You can have this back. Um... Oh, and we needed this to make a logic sensor, didn't we? Uh, let's see. Liquid sensor any? Or liquid sensor water. Well, this is cheaper, and I only want it to pump water, so... Mithril anvil. Liquid sensor water. Fantastic. So I think, uh, when I tried to just have the liquid water sensor, it only activates once when it first detects water. But if I... if I connect it to a timer as well... So now we need a timer. Which I think is just... Oh, I think you can just buy them, even in vanilla. Yeah, let's go one second timer. is light. Alright, timer goes here. Grand design. What color should we use? Probably blue. And would it work if I put the outlet pump up here? I never thought of that before. Last time I had the output pump up on the beach. I would if this was Oni, I would definitely expect the water pressure to prevent this from working. But maybe Terraria is different. Maybe not? Alright, let's connect these. If we see the water level up here doing something, we don't. Okay. Let's pick this up. And we'll put our outlet pump over here. Terraria said it was different. It said it would change. Oh no. Um, I kind of want to make sure I don't run the wire through where I might put some lights or something. So I'll probably go down a level here. And across. I love that about Calamity. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Seeficat, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
You're building some underwater dome? Yes. And I'm trying to... I think I just have to remove the sensor and put it back again, because... Okay. Well... It actually triggered by having itself removed, which is interesting. And then I think normally... The moment this doesn't detect water, that would also send a signal. Okay, so the... So the time is off now. We're gonna open this. It's not working the way I imagined. Last time I only tried putting like a, a liquid sensor. There's still a little bit in there. All right. I did make, like, a thing underneath last time as well, so that might... Why did that disappear? That might help. Um, let's see. Something like this. We'll put a grate or something. Whoops. Uh, inlet pump. Timer. And where did the sensor go? It's up here. Liquid sensor. Let's try it without the timer. And maybe I can reproduce, like, my first naive attempt at doing this. Alright, so there is water. Yeah, it just pumps once when it first detects uh, liquid. So if we feed a signal to a timer, it actually activates or deactivates the timer. So water detected, timer on. Water not detected, question mark. Water still detected. Should I put it higher up, maybe? Can I just put it like this? Okay, that'll probably work. That will probably work. Now let's let water in. It automatically pumps it away, and it stops once it gets that low. That seems to be doing its job. Neat, indeed. Alright, so should I, should I like finish the dome and put it under the sand? Or should I, should I have like a straight vertical bit at the end of the, the dome? I'm thinking I put the rest of the dome under the sand. Sl show build, indeed. You have target dummy emotes. That's awesome. Badger. Nice. West dude. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So this was five tiles, right? Five and then three and then one. Yeah. Let's say this is going to be the top of it. Where is that water coming from? And then three. And then one. Let's dig down here while we're at it. One. 
one, 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 one. And then two, three. And then one, two, three, four, five. I think that's our symmetrical dome. Seems good. Give me those stars. All the stars. Fantastic. Oh, I guess I missed the fishing quest again. You know what? We're doing this one. That, that'll pop in three seconds. Uh, sunken Sea? I'm not going to the Sunken Sea. Okay, you know what? Fine. I said I would. We can just do it this way. I've never actually fished in the Sunken Sea, so I don't know what we can catch there. Alright, uh, fishing rod, bait, how about, where, where's my regular bait? Here we go, this is, that is, that is a giant crocodile. Okay. Sunken fish? You wanker, show bulb. Show bulb, what? Oh, I misread that. Fair enough. Um. Oh, I forgot I put away my fishing gear. I still don't have the boots. Lame. Alright, we got... Let's just go the master bait. Why not? Make this quick. Frog leg? Already? That's nice. Stuffed fish. I think we've seen those before. Planty mush base. Uh, planty mush again. What is this light source here? It's kind of spooky. Oops. What is planty mush? Can be placed material. It's probably just for building, right? No? You can make life fruit out of it? Wait, can we get life fruit already? We need living shard. So probably not. Abyssal amulet. Can be worn in vanity material. Attacks inflict crush depth debug. Uh, debuff. Grants immunity to the crush depth debug. Nice. Maholic, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, Raiders. How was your stream today? Still playing Factorio today. Okay. How'd that go? Velda, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How's fishing? Fishing is different because I've never fished in this biome before. Oh, we already got a crate as well. We can get Hemo Piranhas here. That's fantastic. But I'm looking, I'm, I'm only looking for the quest fish. Like, I, I said, okay, fine, we'll do the fishing quest this time. And then it was the abyss. And I said, no, I don't want to go to the abyss, but I promised. So whatever, we're doing the fishing quest. Took a break from PoE, 20 hours grinding to the end of the campaign was enough. Fair enough. Um, we're using Master Bait, by the way, and all of the fishing buffs available to us short of using fishing potions. We should definitely have the quest fish by now. I mean, there's a little bit of randomness involved, but still. Normally, by the, t uh, by the time you have about this much fishing power, it takes like two reels to bring in the quest fish. Alluring bait. 
What is this? Uh, 30? Wait, 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 what? 30 increased fishing power during the day, 45 during the night. 60 during a solar eclipse. Greatly increased chance of catching potion ingredient fish? Um, y yes, yes please. I'm very bad at PoE, <laughs> fair enough. We played this game once with a friend, but they didn't play it again, so neither have I. It's probably really fun though. Yeah, I seem to be uh, inspiring a few people to give it a go. Although, uh, this is a bit, it, this is modded, it, it does have stuff on top of the base game. I'm actually, what time is it? 9.38 a.m. We've been We've been fishing for approximately five minutes, four or five minutes, and no quest fish. That's unusual. I am technically in the right biome, right? Otherwise I wouldn't be getting this stuff. Abyssal Crate. This is one of those games that's very well done. Oh yeah. I mean, they've refined it literally for a decade. These are, these are some devs that care. Oh, whoa, 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 rude. What even, there's nothing there. What the? Um, apparently it was, it was that spot specifically. That's so weird. I don't have a dash right now. Let's try over here, make sure we're in... We're, we're well and truly in the biome. A geyser? Was it like a geyser that the kind you can find in vanilla? Okay, it's very easy to get these... Ow! Stupid bubbles. Alluring bait. But it's not easy to get the quest fish. Whoops. That's a nice misclick. It is? Oh, I see it now. Huh, it looked a bit different from a vanilla geyser, but same function, I guess. Based on the background, you are in generic biome? Uh, no, that's that's definitely not generic. The sound, the, the background music, yes. Uh, can I, like, I don't know if I needed to get another mod or if it's just in options somewhere. Uh, interface? No. Someone suggested getting... There's, like, modded... That there's extra music to go with Calamity. Terraria's music is great, though. But if we had a different soundtrack for the new biomes, if the music was even half as good... All right, you know what? I think I'm giving up on this uh, fishing quest. I've, I, I feel like something's busted. Like I've never seen it take this long with this much fishing power um, to get a fishing quest done. Let's stack our stuff away. And what else? We got some crates. I won't open them until I get a luck potion. Oh, I've got one. Is this enough crates to... It's not enough crates to justify a luck potion, but I want to see what an abyssal crate can give us. Also, I think we can make luck potions much more easily because... Yeah, we can use blood orbs. We can get those anytime we want with the blood moon. Best dude caught spamming again? Calamity mod. Sulfurous sea. Why can't I right click copy that? Well, I'm not going there because I'm playing blind, but if anyone else wants to look. Uh, 
Um, why did I stack that away? Let's go. Lesser luck potion. Crates. And I already got a black an Anurian before. Um, it's It spits out a bunch of weird stuff, including homing missiles, but we've kind of outgrown it already. It is a material for later, though. Hardened sulfurous sandstone. Sulfurous sandstone and sulfurous sand. Ballistic poison bomb. Okay, so this does have some specific stuff that it's a recipe for. Let's put... I'll just put all of it in the hard mode calamity chest for now. And give me my dash back, please. This is uncomfortable. There we go. Loot all, quick stack, abyssal amulet. Um, I'll definitely be needing that for when I do try to tackle the abyss itself. Should I make a chest for specific... This one's empty. Let's go. Anything that's like really super specifically for the abyss we're going to keep in here. Hemo Piranha. Fantastic. We can make rage potions. Um, loot all. Quick stack. Loot all. Quick stack. And... Alright, cool. Alluring Bait. Veldak, thank you very much for the gifted sub. 40 in total, my goodness. I really cannot express how much I appreciate that. Thank you. Wes... Wesipu? Thank... Uh, hope you enjoy. Let me fix that for you, Wes. What a troll, indeed. <laughs> okay, um, what is acid wood? I guess we can use it as generic wood. Um, so that adds an awful lot of stuff that it can make. Acid wood bathtub. Basher. 39 true melee damage inflicts... Irradiated. That's nasty. Caustic Edge. Poison and Venom. Okay. And then Toxie Bow. We can make a 7 ranged damage bow at this point. I don't think this was pre-hard mode, was it? Maybe I'm wrong. Converts wooden arrows into slow arrows that inflict irradiated, does extra damage. Oh, that's normal for ranged. So I'm guessing irradiated is actually really, really, really strong. Let's put this in the Calamity chest. Hemo piranhas can go in here. Alluring bait, I guess I'll put in here. Seashells and starfish, I'm just going to sell. Sand goes this way. Planty mush. Let's see. If we find living shard, I can use it to make life fruit. If I find a whole lot of stuff, I can make an armor set. All right. For now, regardless, we're going to put that in our miscellaneous building materials. Greater Mana Potion? I should definitely be using those by now. I think I can just buy them from this guy. Yep. Get out of here, Mana Potion. Yep. What is a checking account? Uh oh. I imagine that's a regular. Who knows? Um, where am I going? Oh, that's right. I was building this undersea dome. 
because we need a proper NPC home that's under the water so that we can have um so that we can have our ocean boss fights uninterrupted. Um let's oh I put away the building materials. Give me those back. Stone brick. I didn't use them all up, surely. Grey brick. Uh, what else? Glass. We'll need some walls. What walls would make sense? I honestly don't know. I think marble would be good. But I don't have much marble right now. Definitely something I'll refine probably off stream. So for now, why don't we just do some basic stone walls? We can convert those back to stone, right? Yeah. Oh, the blood moon. Lovely. Should we risk some blood moon? Oh, okay. Glad I've got that up there. Sir, could you be persuaded not to? Thank you. Should we do some blood moon fishing? Oh, oh, I need to talk to the dryad during the blood moon. Here we go. Crimson seeds? No, we're looking for... Huh? Is this different from vanilla? Do I not talk to the Dryad during the Blood Moon to get the means to start a corrupt biome? Or maybe... no? I noticed there was an item or two that you can swap. Like the, um, the worst light pet, that's a lot of turtles. That is a uncomfortable number of... well, it's two actually, but it's a lot of other stuff as well. Um, I'm getting distracted here. Is Vicious Powder... I'm pretty sure we get that from Crimson, right? I got my mute backwards. Alright, give me some bait. But yeah, I, I couldn't actually see where I could get a corruption biome started in this world. Okay, we got bait, we got mechanics, no, we got chum caster. So we have a better chance of fishing up something nasty. I should go and get some, like, boss fight buff potions. Grab potion? Maybe. I mean, they're cheap enough. Um, let's put this away for the moment. Definitely gonna want... Potion of Omniscience. Um... Calming potion? Yeah, I think I will. I'll, I'll just take that right now. While I'm trying to fish, I don't want as many spawns. We've got damages. We've got vision. We've got gravity. Um, heart reach? Why not? I 
Maybe Titan, even? Flipper Potion would definitely be good. Uh, how about this? And I can't think of much more. Alright, off we go. Let's re-up our buffs. And one of these. And I can't travel there anymore. Okay, luckily the jungle is really close by. Alright, it's fishing time. Actually, before I do, let's grab ourselves fishing potion, sonar potion, and while we're at it, why not crate potion? Blood eel. Let's go. I think we get more value out of our spells because we're hitting a multi-segmented enemy. Uh, crystal ammo is not that bad. I should switch between them to take advantage of mana regen. Oh, no, no, I don't want to fight that this time. Thank, thank you. Is this thing friendly? Nope. I thought maybe it wasn't getting targeted because we've got um, the Ocean Crest active. Uh, it make, makes some of the fish friendly. things are actually pretty easy. Cursed Flame would be good from the bullets. Oh, I should use this as well. And there we go. I don't think I could handle a Dread Nautilus right now, but I'd like to try it. Aziz Light? Aziz Light? that better? I guess I'm not using any buff potions yet either. Yeah, I think uh, if Dread Nautilus spawns I'll pop all the buffs, but as long as we're just dealing with stuff like this, this is fine. Why do I keep fall- oh, it's because of the pump. Whenever the uh, water gets pumped, it changes the level. Why do we keep getting blood eels? Uh, it changes the level of the water, and there's like a wave that comes along and messes up our water walking. Dodged the loot. Fantastic. Let's do a flip potion. And let's not have the clown murder us. There we go. I'll go back for the I'll, I'll go back down for the loot later. It's fine. Depth Crusher. Another bloody what is this? 
Uh, that was dumb. But it's not that much of a threat with all the defense we have. What are the odds... Okay. Assuming we have the same set of Blood Moon fishing enemies post-hard mode that we can bring up, what are the odds that we just got, like, what was that, four or five Blood Eels in a row? Slim to none, perhaps? Okay. Uh, why don't we shut the front door? And then the pumping can stop. Eventually. Um, and now we need to sort out our inventory. Wait, not really. I don't want to stack away everything. I guess we're not doing Blood Moon fishing though, so there's that. And Titan Potion. Um, I think I'll sort that later. Let's just get this uh, NPC home functional. Oh, there's still turtles there. That's weird. Turtle shell. No turtle shell. All right. Um, away we go. Do do do. -do. Angler is still absent. And platforms. That's maybe too many. How about we figure out where the stairs would be? Maybe like this. Oh, I can see a balloon in the background. That's so weird. Why doesn't this look normal? Why can't you be normal? The angler has arrived. There we go. Uh, if I just give these back walls... He's to move in. Whoops. And chairs and stuff. this count? This is not valid housing. Why not? Is it too big? I wonder why. This is not valid housing. This is this is not a helpful error message. Are we missing walls? I don't think so. I, I've seen... I've seen builds that have very few walls. I thought the wrong person moved in here for a second there. This is a solid block. Wait, where did I click? No door? 
technically fine. I was gonna do something like this anyway, eventually. But for now, we'll just make it really basic. Change that a bit. That'll probably not be a platform later on. This has suddenly become a really small house. Uh, I guess wooden door for the moment. Alright, this counts, right? This is not valid housing. Did I misclick? We've got a door, a chair, a light source. Is it too much platform? Is, is that what they're unhappy about? This housing is suitable. Okay. I might narrow the middle bit? I don't know. Light source. Door. Let's put a chimney. Perfect. Did I just run out of wood? No! Can I make a different door? It doesn't look like it. Okay, fine. Um, why don't I just steal a door from here? And this should probably not look like it's exposed to air. Why can't I build... Oh, that's the sensor, you absolute derp. Okay. Alright, so we've got Angler. And I guess Golfer. Do we have the Pirate? We don't have the Pirate. And now we can move our pylon. Maybe I should... Maybe this time I should make it so that the pylon... Well, I, I mean, I, I could put it here if I want to. But I was thinking... They're not near enough. And I guess they'll stay that way until evening. Dolphins what? What's wrong with dolphins? Um, yeah, I was thinking something like what we've got back at the main base, whereby I could exit vertically. Um, but we'd obviously have this deal with the water that comes out. Something to think about. I have a suspicion that if I just... If I get rid of this, they might try walking... Oh, they're already doing it. Yeah, they're trying to walk to where their new home is. And, um... It could have interesting results. Is, is all I'll say. At the moment. Hey, look, we get some wood back. Hello, dolphin. With my last save, the underwater dome that I built, the uh, traveling merchant would regularly almost die walking over to it. <laughs> Why are they walking past it? What? Do you not understand? You can come in this way. Oh, no. Wait, wait, I think, I think he's figured it out. No. No, Miles! Oh. Miles, we hardly knew. Uh. Well, 
did they drop anything? I don't see anything. I would have thought the golfer would drop like a unique weapon or something. Anyway, we'll mess around with the textures and stuff for this place later. The important thing is we've got a functional undersea dome. Um, although I do want to... Oh good, the golfer has arrived. I sure hope he makes it this time. Uh, I do want to get this sorted out right while I'm still here if I can. Everything in this chest... And also this mannequin. Move it down here. Will he figure it out this time? I I don't think he's got the right idea. He's coming back. I think he's just trying to survive drowning now and it's too late. That's unfortunate. Alright, we're gonna put... I don't even know where I want to do this eventually, but... I'll just put this here for now. Slurp up pole. 25% fishing power. Can fish in lava. We've got better than that. We, we do have a lava proof fishing hook as well. All right, what a chest with some fishing specific stuff. Why not just shove the seashells and starfish in there as well? They don't sell for any decent amount. All right, um, I think that means we can think about Duke Fisher on now. It's going to be tough with this gear, but maybe not that tough since we've got so much defense. 77 defense. Uh, 42 damage on the Mega Shark. I think I would prefer to use Cursed Bullets. I definitely want to make some... How am I going to make Cursed Bullets? Oh no. Because I can't figure out how to get a uh, Corruption Biome. Hmm. Also, I still haven't moved the steampunker. Should probably get that sorted. There's no one here. Let's fix that. Steampunker can go in an NPC shack for the moment. Steampunker. And we should get the uh, Demolitionist moving in here as soon as possible. Actually, I want to double check something while we're at it. Because I think the Tavern... Oh, we got that biome, finally. Up here. Uh, I think the Tavern Keep and the Demolitionist traded places at some point. So I would like to take this opportunity. Okay, never mind. They're the right way around. Okay. Let's fix these walls back to wood. I don't know what was in this slot earlier, but I guess I'll put Potion of Omniscience there. It is 6.46pm and raining. I don't think we're excited about rain anymore. Oh, uh, the halo spread through the desert real quick. Oh, I wonder if... no... I can't get the steampunker to sell me corruption plantaminator stuff, right? 
astral solution spreads the astral infection. That's scary. Maybe during a blood moon? Probably not. This might be something that I end up looking up. I want to do it mostly blind, but not having access to corruption uh, corruption biome stuff would be unfortunate. Let's go get... Um, I should have done it while I was down there. Let's go get ourselves... some worms. The big ones. I do have the guide to credit companionship, so we're not going to accidentally moiter them. And I think I need a way up. There's a worm somewhere. Oh, was that a little... Was that the worm I was looking for? And I just scared it off without noticing. That's unfortunate. What is this fairy trying to show me, though? Yes? Okay, I was going to say, it better not be this, because that would just be... It's down here somewhere. I don't want to dig to it, really. How about through here? What are you leading us to? Oh, water chest. Sure. Give me that. Inner tube. Fantastic. Couldn't be more glad that we came here. On the other hand, I did get a water chest. I kind of like those to sort of represent that we've got certain things in them. Hey, listen, watch out. Oh no. Alright, so we're looking for truffle worms. Maybe I should grab a hunter potion. I keep seeing glowing snails, they're teasing me. That's not a truffle worm either. Oh, that's a truffle worm. Uh, let's make sure we've got our net ready. Can I get it through here? Yes. Fantastic. Okay, so one of two things is going to happen, because to Calamity is extremely generous with uh, boss summoning items. Either we're somehow only going to need one Truffle Worm ever, Enrage is outside the ocean, something's due to fish are on. It doesn't look like it. Um, maybe Calamity just doesn't have a way to do this. Like, the other boss fight, some, uh, the other boss summoning items don't get consumed on use. With the exception of the guide voodoo doll. And I guess they didn't have a way to do that, so instead they just give us way too many voodoo demons. Um, but I figured they would either make the truffle worm not get consumed when used as bait somehow. Maybe, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't mention it. Either that or they'd be way easier to find. But it doesn't look like they're way easier to find. I guess we could try it. What's the worst that could happen? Well, the worst that could happen is we 
summon Duke Fisher on just once, and then we have no truffle worms. We're probably not going to beat Duke Fisher on on the first try. I haven't been practicing it off screen or anything. Uh, water chest. I don't know where I want to put this. Right now. Let's stack the other things away. Let's sell the... Actually, the inner tube has some um, meme potential. Let's hold on to it. Give me that worm. No, not the goldfish. Be free, goldfish. What do we have in here? Everything? That's unfortunate. Sell, sell. Got a million of those. If those aren't... I've got... Yeah, yeah, I'll stack them away, actually. Uh, purple and black ink ingredients, or dye rather. That is way too many life jellies. Let's sell those. It was all life jelly, right? Yeah. And we have a single shark fin. Amazing. Black lens goes somewhere. Uh, viscous powder, I guess. A oh, vicious powder. And go in here. White torch goes back where it belongs. Okay. It might be suboptimal to fight Duke Fisher on in the dark while it's raining. I just have this feeling. And let's put this stuff in here, I guess. Or not. Walls. I can't teleport down here yet, can I? Let's just sell the bomb. Alright, I think we have our inventory all cleaned up. Let's get some serious boss fight potions, which we mostly already have. I might make some more with blood orbs. Alright, wrath potion, rage potion. Inferno is actually really helpful in this one. Uh, Duckies, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What is going on with my notifications? Actually, let me just check something real quick. Uh, alert box. Don't tell me it's just like switched off or something. Test follow. Okay. Is there like a alert boxes disabled somewhere that I'm not noticing? No, it's working. Why didn't it work a minute ago? Uh, Hinyaklot, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Wow, I'm ration? Ration? Uh, what else do we want? Definitely flip a potion, because if you dip into the water you don't want to lose all your speed. Grav potion, of course. I can't use Featherfall with Grav in Calamity for some reason. Maybe they patched it, let's find out. Okay, Grav potion. Up and down we go. Featherfall Potion. Oh yeah, I'm falling upside down slowly. And I can fall upside down faster. And I can reverse grab it. It, it works! Okay. Maybe I had too many buffs when I attempted it last time. 
Maybe it was something like that. Or maybe they patched it. Either way. That was a nice waste of resources, but good to find out. Um, Spelunker, Danger Sense, and Hunter, I think, makes Potion of Omniscience. It's a little expensive, but it's very, very convenient. And I just remembered who sells Spelunkers, our dwarf that just won't come back. I could make I, I could make the spelunkers by the danger sense and by the hunters. Why not? That's a lot of hunter. Well, that's way too many danger sense. Whoops. And spelunking potion. And Potion of Omniscience go. That's a lot. Fantastic. Featherfall. Uh, what? Why do I have multiple types of healing potion? Let's sell these. And is there any other type of potion I want? Uh, we've got plenty of stimulants still. Endurance, definitely. I think it's worth using blood orbs on these. They're just a bit of a nuisance to farm up. Uh, life force, definitely worth 10 blood orbs. Ammo reservation, I'm not that worried about. I can just buy those, actually. I think that is probably about everything. We've got Flipper. Uh, we've got lots of Gravs. We've got so many ingredients for Gravs as well. I think that's everything that's relevant. Let's get on top of Shines and... Night Owls, and Speed, and Regen, and we still have 253 Iron Skins, whoops. Um, I think we're pretty much good. Does this work in Terraria? Uh... No, I meant to disable it, sorry. Things have been a bit hectic lately. I can give you a refund, or I can put your name in Factorio. I should probably mention that it's for Factorio with that uh, reward. No? You want the... does that mean you want the refund, or... Just want to burn it? Okay. Well, that reminds me to add some more big expensive ones, I guess. I didn't just stack away some of the stuff I wanted to keep, did I? I don't think so. Heart Reach doesn't help with this boss fight. Not really. Has his light? Uh, I'm just keeping that on me at all times, so let's do that. We could do another summon, it'll make basically no difference. Alright. Let's try fighting... Duke Fisher on. And while we're at it, let's find out if... Oops. Let's find out if uh, we lose the bait. Would it count as an arena if I put a heart lantern or star in a bottle down there?
Oh boy, that was bad already. Did I not buff? Why don't I have Inferno? Oh no. I think I had too many buffs and it's not doing all the buff potions. Okay. Off to a bad start. Also, I need to remember to hold down to fall properly. Alright, so far not so bad, but we're in the easy part. Let's not exit the ocean. That could be bad. So far, so good, actually. I didn't mean to hit seven of those. I don't know what buffs I'm missing, either. Since the Inferno Potion didn't trigger from pressing B. Oh, that's uncomfortable. Probably heal. I don't think the feather fall is really helping. I don't often want to hold altitude very much. We're slowly getting there, but I'm very concerned about the final stage, just because of how long it's going to take. I should probably be using the uh, hallowed armor so that I have one more invulnerability hit. The movement speed from the crystal armor, though, is definitely helping. Also, the movement speed from uh, these Beyond Terra Spark boots from Calamity. I should remember I've got Rod of Discord as well, although it's not that big of a deal. Especially when we can only do it once every, what, 16 seconds? Take it back, the, uh, oh, I need to buff, I need to buff, okay, okay, okay. Uh, the Featherfall is actually kind of nice. It means I can get more time fighting him up in the air before dodging away faster. And at a moment like this, it's very good. I just have to get used to holding down most of the, a lot of the time. Whoops. I don't think the damage over time is going to help um, when it comes to his final phase. I think he's going to lose all the dots whenever he teleports. Whoops, 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 whoops. This is actually going really well. I have had a lot of practice fighting Duke Fisher on, I suppose. And my movement gear is really quite excellent. The difficult thing is just going to be how slowly we kill him. In the final phase in particular. The way dodge works in Calamity is also extremely helpful. Being able to have this set of armor and just ignore one mistake every one every two minutes uh, really, really helps. I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting the Master Ninja gear. I think it reduces the dodge cooldown to, what, 90 seconds? 
and gives you dash on the same uh, on the same accessory slot. if I'm not careful. Let's be up our buffs. We don't want to go to space because we can't fall as fast. If we can't fall as fast, we're having a lot more trouble getting away from Duke. Is that my dodge cooldown? I think I missed it. Ow. Maybe not. No, we're running out of dodge cooldown now, actually. I ran out of grab potion. Should have kept an eye on that. Okay, okay, okay. a little uncomfortable. Up we go. Get get away, please, sir. Thank you. I think he's getting faster. Yeah, he's definitely faster. Let's not get trapped here. Yeah, I have to dodge more often to keep my distance. And always fall fast now. do this. I just have to get his final form down. Ow. Not good. And here it comes. I need to fall up. And I need to change at the right time. And I, this is not the right time. Oh god, oh fuck, oh no, oh no. Okay. Okay, how much... I don't know how much more health he's got. Swap. No, okay. This is it. Get it right this time, or it's done. Ah! Oh. I need to get the gravity reversals done at the right time in the final phase. Indeed. Jimbo Panda, Schlepus, Velda. Oh wow, did T-Hex say oh fuck instead of oh no or oh my goodness? Did I? It's possible. You'll never prove it. What button did I just press that got rid of my... Um... Why are we in cinematic mode? What did I press to get rid of my... In uh... What's the word I'm looking for? The, the the graphical user interface. I don't think I changed whatever key that was. Oh, that's not what we're looking for. F11. When did I press F11? Good grief. Okay. That was pretty close. It's definitely doable. Could I have done anything else to prepare? Cursed bullets would have been nice. Um, crystal bullets are hardly a massive downgrade.
Eco is not going to cut it. Is there a way for me to get World Feeder, Clinger, Vile Ghoul? What? The Hive Mind. Let, let me check if there's a way for me to fight the Hive Mind without spawn info. I need Rotten Chunk. Yeah. No, I need I need a corruption biome. In order to get cursed. Let's kill some mimics. I've got not that many souls actually. We can do one Crimson Mimic. That's it. Let me get one of these crappy old chests. Give me that worm. Uh, and I need to make a key, actually. Key of Night. Out of 15 souls of night. Very, very easy to kill out in the open. I haven't actually seen one yet. Just randomly spawn. If I can get it to fly all the time, we can get three hits on the uh, homing missiles every time. It also will keep it from turtling up and rebounding bullets. Not that it ever rebounds um, magic damage, as far as I can think of. Alright, what do we get? Hey, dart pistol! That's that thing that I said that I needed. Except we don't have a way to make cursed darts. Um, it's a material. Ooh. You can turn it into the dart rifle? Hell yes. How do I do that? Anvil needs to be in graveyard. Okay. Well, I just so happen to have... Five graves, is that enough? I hope so. Do I really only have five? Let's find out if this works. Are we in a graveyard yet? I don't think we are. We're definitely not in a graveyard. Where else have I died lately? Did our tombstone bounce away from the world? I, th I think our tombstone may have rolled off planet. I might have to deliberately die to get a graveyard biome. Then again, no, it's like literally more than double the damage from one shot. And I'm going to use this for like one shot to debuff or something. Except if I'm only getting Ecor darts, wouldn't Golden Shower be better? I'll think about it. I do just like the dart rifle better though. Higher impact for darts. Is there anywhere that I've got grave markers that I've forgotten about, perhaps? Probably in the sunken sea? Rusty chest. Oh. Okay. Uh, tombstone. Yes. Okay. Let's get both of those. I don't recall recasting this after I died. I guess it sticks. The uh, summon thingy. Q. 
kill the NPCs? No, that's only in hardcore. Because that otherwise you wouldn't have a way to get um gravestones. Uh can I not Okay. Why why does pressing down make me shoot upwards? What? Can I sink? Am I just not able to sink? Um is is the is the sulfur sea rejecting me? Alright, I got it somehow. And let's try and get that rusty chest. It's gonna be a little hard to see. Ziz light. Okay, 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 okay. Gimme whatever this is. Nope, nope, nope. How's my health? Not that bad. Alright. We got... Rusty chest. Of course. Rusty beacon prototype. Long abandoned drone to support you. Where is it? Oh! I think I saw it fly past. Clicking on an enemy gives them a tiny brick. Causing them to become aggravated? Hovers above nearby enemies and inflicts irradiated. Oh, and we got some sulfur skin potion. Reduces the effects of the sulfuric waters. Okay. Anything else down here I should know about? There's more geysers. There's a bunch of coral. There's a couple of pots. Nothing really. Alright, let's put these gravestones away. Oh wait, I got a, a sixth one, didn't I? Wait, where is it? Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know what I had here. Seafood dinner. Okay, can we get a graveyard biome with only six graves. Get, get this out of here. Two, three, four, five, six. I could have sworn that would be enough. Yeah, we're not able to make the dart rifle. Um, let's try killing Duke Fisher on again. Since we need gravestone markers. I feel like doing a thing or two before that, though. Where should I put this? Hard mood... Calamity things. Uh, this is a summon. It doesn't say anything about damage. Why it? Oh, that's it. That's so weird looking. It just disappears. So it's like a a one-off weapon. All right, I'm just gonna put that in summoner things. Rusty chest. Doesn't look that rusty. Alright, this is range damage. We're going to put it here for now. What should I do before trying the Duke again? Could we get some better DPS against Duke without just, like, skipping him until he's easy? Not sure about that one. 
should I go for hallowed gear? I would have to swap out maybe the obsidian shield? No, that's too much defense. We either have to sacrifice a lot of... Bundle of balloons. Yeah, I don't think bundle of balloons is... Oh? We can do this now. I've got a frog leg. And a horseshoe. And I can buy a jetpack. Let's go. Um, I may yet swap out whatever this is to make room for Shield of Cthulhu with different armor. So we have a dodge. But I'm very excited to see what this is. Horseshoe. Frog leg. Uh, one of each soul from mechanical bosses. One two, three, and jetpack. Let's go. Jetpack is down here. Give, t give to me your jetpack, please. Hold up to boost faster. Interesting. I should pay more attention knowing that the wings have different uh, bonuses. That is... that is not slow. It kind of accelerates. 114. That is faster than we can fall... Uh, with the slime mount, I believe. Yeah, that is faster than we can fall with the slime mount. Can we... We can't, like, force falling faster without the mount. That's fine. Maybe I should try using this? Let's compare these two. Uh, acceleration multiplies the same. Horizontal speed is almost the same. Flight time is significantly higher on the jetpack. We lose our defense, life regen, and life, which is unfortunate. But mobility is so, so, so important. Then again, if we're using gravity potions to fall faster than Duke can follow us anyway. It's not often that the upward flight time matters that much. Hmm. Uh, what was I swapping out here? Bundle of balloons. Let's go. Oh, we need an anvil, I think it said. Yes. Mother of all balloons. Counts as wings. Okay, so maybe we don't need a wing slot. Flight time is only 75. Uh, cloud, blizzard, sandstorm, mid-air jumps. Increased jump speed, constant jumping. Constant jumping. Horizontal speed is as good as the jetpack. Alright, let's try it. I'll try it without the wings, I guess. Alright, so that's the end of our flight time. It said... What does it mean by constant jumping? Oh, does it mean bouncing? Because I'm not excited about that. holding space. And very slowly coming back to the ground. Yeah, it's it's like frog legs or something. It just makes you go boing boing. Well, it's an upgrade to bundle of balloons, but not as exciting as I imagined.
So it's basically bundle of balloons plus frog legs. Uh, and a little bit of a, a little bit more flight time as well. Don't think we'll be using that. Um, wait, what? Oh, counts as wings means you can't use it with wings. Wait, that's worse. Now I can't have a double jump and wings. No, this is terrible. Give it back. How? How dare you? We just lost our quad jump. Oh my lord. Do I have a balloon? I don't think I have a balloon. I mean, I did say I was going to swap this accessory out for something different for this boss fight. Um, but I'm definitely not happy about losing double jump. Because it gives you such a instantaneous... I mean, it's literally infinite acceleration. It gives you such a boost. I've only got basic double jumps. Oh, here we go. I can I can do the puffer fish. Uh, I am very disappointed. Where did the? Here we go. Tsunami in a bottle. Shark run balloon. It's a it's a material these days. Oh wait, yeah, no, it only. You can add a horseshoe to it, who cares. That's really disappointing. Although the bundle of balloons weren't doing all that much since we got good wings. So I guess it's not that bad. That's what I'll tell myself anyway. I don't even feel like going to the trouble of replacing them. Um, just having a double jump is fine. Let's re-roll this, probably to warding. But menacing would have been fine, I should have been a bit slower there. Alright. Um, so what I want to do instead for that slot with Duke... I definitely want the knockback immunity and the defense. I definitely want the damages. I definitely want the dodge. I definitely want angel treads. And I definitely want angel wings. Um, so what was I thinking of putting here? That's actually a mystery. I could possibly stack more damage somehow? Charm of Myths wouldn't be bad. But... We really... Maybe I should go Glass Cannon against Duke. I could spend a lot on re-rolling, or I could... And or I could have a whole set of things that's just menacing. Because we want to kill him as quickly as possible, so we don't have to keep up dodging for as long. Oh, a uh, cross necklace. I don't think it's going to make that much difference, to be honest. It just gives us a little bit longer. If we take two hits in a row, it might ignore the second one. We, we can't do... Yeah, we can't do more than one pair of wings. Um, hmm. Something that gives me even more speed wouldn't be the worst. Increases flight time, movement speed, and jump speed by 10%. Okay. Let's call that plan B or C. Um, I don't think this is what we're looking for. That's definitely not what we're looking for. 
enemies take damage when they touch you, that's not going to turn the tide against Duke. Although I could see myself using it just for funsies. Or definitely with a tank build, that could be a funny meme. Um, yeah, a porcupine build could be a good, a good joke. But even funnier if it works. Taking a hit will make you move fast for a short time. Ten defense, reduced movement speed. We don't want that. Um. What happened to that combination of the three jellies? I'm pretty sure I made one of those. Oh, I need so two soul of light, two soul of night. Did I not make it? 20 life, 20 mana, 10% increased movement and jump speed. Standing still boosts life and mana range yet? That's not bad. I don't think I can justify spending a slot on that. But it does get upgraded to include to include thorns and emit a, cla a, a cloud of mushrooms when you are hit. Oh my god. How many of these? Giant tortoise shell? This is a lot. I thought I had something in mind that I wanted to put in this slot, but... If we're going ranged, we've already got the two slots for damage. We can't do more than that yet. That doesn't help. Oh, uh... Sharktooth ne Necklace would only slightly incre increase our damage at this point. Shackle doesn't do anything particularly new or different. Crown Jewel. Don't have whatever those are. Boosts life regen even while under the effects of a damaging debuff. Five defense. Eh. Maybe cross necklace is the best we can do. Oh wait, what was the thing I said was plan B? It's in here somewhere. Here it is, Aerostone. Flight time, movement speed, and jump speed by 10%. That could be the difference between getting caught or not. All right, let's get that re-rolled. There we go. It's going to feel weird not having a double jump at all. Maybe I should check out this biome. Maybe it's got what we need. Oh, hello. I definitely think I should have gone for the extra... Uh, what is this? Can't do anything with it yet. Ooh, what's this? It hurts. How novel. I can't dig it yet. It's like a super media. I guess this is, uh, I guess this was here from since we made this biome. Stardust. These enemies are pretty easy to deal with at this point. Okay. 
Ouch. I can't really hit that one. I'm not seeing anything too attractive, except that we can get Stardust. Let's see what Stardust is for. A lot, actually. Astral Bar is actually just Stardust and Astral Ore. I don't know where to get Astral Ore, unless I can dig it out from there. Maybe something you can buy from the Hunter? The Hunter? Okay, why are we not getting our Demolitionist back? This is weird. I should probably make sure um, that the light source didn't get removed or something, so that's valid housing. I think I'll I'll do some mining. I want the frost armor. It's really nice for spelunking. Creates a light source with every physical attack. Uh, that is definitely valid housing. Yeah, I don't know why we're not getting our demolitionist back. Alright, let's get ourselves... I need some seafood dinner. First of all. That is not seafood dinner. I definitely don't want to spend obsidian fish on seafood dinner. We could maybe go for some mediums for now, I guess. Do I not have the means to make rock lobster? There we go. Or I could use Hemo Piranha since I can just buy uh, Rage Potions. Oh, we can definitely use Stinkfish. Alright, I guess we're spending Hemo Piranha on seafood. Wait, it's a material? What is it? Oh, the camper and the stimulants. And it's any food item. Never mind. You need a bomb in your inventory or he won't respawn. Oh. But I sold the bomb. Actually, I know where to get it. And yeah, I made sure that um, that this would be hollow, so that it wouldn't count as corrupted. Yeah, I thought it was just for the first time um, that they show up that a condition has to be met. Alright, so bombs. I'm sure it'll show up for 774 bombs. Feels weird not having double jump, but Meteorite has landed. Um, let's grab all of our mining stuff. Mining potion. Oh, let me put away this other stuff as well. Endurance potion should probably stay there for emergencies. I don't really need the goblin tech in my inventory. That's only for showing DPS. Uh, Wolfram goes here. Rock lobster I was going to use because it's 10 minutes of medium. In fact, I think I will do that for the, for the mining. Let's put seafood dinner in here for the moment. And this can go in here for now. Um, cloud in a bottle goes in here as well. Did we empty this? 
I do swap out double jump for soaring insignia later on, so this isn't that different. But on the other hand, we don't like gain our upward momentum very quickly. We can change the NPC respawn rate in Calamity? Oh really? How do I do that? Uh, I don't need damage potions or rage potions if I'm not going to fight a boss. This is fine for now. Alright, so we got mining potions. We've got food. We've got ancient chisel. And we've got Sugar Rush. Let's do some mining. Down we go. Oh, and of course, Potion of Omniscience. Time to do the mining equivalent of Primes. Pickaxe go burr. This isn't as fast as when we have um, major improvements to all stats with the food. It's pretty good though. Are those diamonds? No, I think they're sapphire. But this is titanium. I don't care which I get first. Enough titanium or enough... Um, Adamantite to make the frost armor. It's the same either way. I love how much um, Adamantite and Titanium Calamity spawns in. I don't make I don't th think making it particularly rare is the most exciting way for the game to work. Oh, uh how about some Aziz light? There we go. You can make NPCs spawn at night as well. Interesting. Down we go. Up we go. I think that's not what I'm looking for, actually. Although, I'll take the Aerolite. This isn't... What is this? Cobalt. The worst. Strange plant over there. Oh, that's only silver. Never mind. Seeing a lot of uh, tier three medals right now. Oh, now that I think about it, we could probably make like one or two items from the set out of adamantite and the other out of titanium. So we're probably closer than I realized to getting it done. What is this? Oh, it's a crawler.
That is definitely not adamantite. Give it to me anyway. I'll take the obsidian. Never know when you might need some of that. Two hearts next to each other. Give me that platinum. Oh crap, oh crap, okay, okay. It only would have scratched us at this level, but still. Let's let this one out as well. There we go. Is that a chest I see? It is, and more importantly, adamantite. Another band of regen is always nice, especially when there's at least three things that gets upgraded into. I believe that is titanium below us. That was adamantite right next to titanium, literally. Gimme, gimme. How's our buff time? Uh, I think I... I think that was the dodge buff that was running out of time. There's some more adamantite. That's filthy tin. This is lovely mithril. Lava, what lava? Since we're picking up obsidian, Let's get some more. Fantastic. Anything valuable enough just doesn't get destroyed by lot. Ow, 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 ow. That's, that's a mimic. Let's go say hello. And that is the sound of a granite golem. We need some granite. I forget what for exactly. There's something new and interesting. And what did we get? Nothing new. I don't know if there is anything new to get from Mimics now. Where is this granite golem dying? Oh, that's not a granite golem. Never mind. Carry on. How come there is both titanium and adamantium? Is that a new calamity thing? Yes. Uh, so with calamity you don't actually get... Uh, you get a bunch of souls of night but you don't release metals by breaking um, demon altars or crimson altars. Uh, instead, I think, I think it might be... The tier 1 hard mode medals are released early in hard mode, and the tier 2 and 3 come from killing mecha uh, mech bosses. Oops. Give me that. Yes, I see the heart, thank you. Give that to me, thank you. Interesting. Yeah, I like I like the way that works. Except that you can't um, over prepare for the mech bosses with adamantite armor, I guess. But you could always just pick and choose which one you start with. I think the twins are the easiest by far. The least gear dependent. That is a little bit awkward. There we go. Get out of here, geyser. How much do I have? Who cares? Let's just keep going while we've got buffs. Error, 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 error. Hello, Tim. Hello. 
And that is more adamantite down there as well. Also up there to the left, but it's a bit more of a nuisance to get at. I haven't done much exploring the jungle this playthrough. At all, actually. I think I just got lucky and got everything that I normally need from the dungeon and or... Uh, and or was able to craft. Could, could you be persuaded to stop? Thank you. How's our buffs? Two minutes of mining. We lost our food. Ooh, that's another big chunk of adamantite. I think we'll grab that and that'll be the end of this mining run. And it's got nothing to do with having to move around. Oh, that's a truffle one. It's got nothing to do with having to deal with these nuisances. Nope. Oh, the truffle one ran off. While I was trying to gain access. Another, another base. Do I have something better for killing this? Ow, 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 ow. Probably not. Oh, this is so annoying. Okay, fine, I'll leave. How dare you. Did you beat Fishron? No, I got very close on the first attempt. Taking a little break from it. Hoping, hoping to find something more to buff damage, because that's the main thing. Right now. Alright, Titanium. 52 is actually quite a lot. We need 10, 30, 50. Wait, no, I misread that. 10, 30, 46. To make our frost set. Nice. How much uh, orichalcum? 94 is quite a lot. Mithril? 77. Cobalt? Uh, 210. Palladium? 136. I believe there's some of this in the Void Bag. Palladium. Adamantite. Uh, adamantite is what I was really looking for. That's the wrong chest. Uh, we've actually got 72. Isn't titanium above adamantite? Let's see. 15, 11, 23 versus 16, 12, 22. Huh. Whatever. We've got more of the adamantite. Let's make frost armor out of that. I was going to say, why can't I make frost armor? It's because I moved the mithril anvil. Alright. Nice soup. Definitely one of my favorites. Um, I'll put the crystal assassin gear... Under ranged for now. Actually, I should have compared damage. 42 range damage on the Mega Shark versus 
36, actually. Huh. This is a bigger upgrade than expected. 16% increased melee and ranged damage. 11% increased melee and ranged crit. Melee attack speed, movement speed. Set bonus, frostburn. Melee and ranged damage up by 10%. So 26 in total. But we need to bust out Shield of Cthulhu to have a dash again. And that's going to go... I don't know, actually. Probably here. Whoops. On the other hand... Maybe the obsidian shield isn't that important. Oh. Eh. I think this is the weakest thing we have, though. Shield of Cthulhu. Gimme, gimme. So now we're on primarily ranged and melee. But more to the point, um, we get a light source from all of our physical attacks. It's very nice. In some places. I don't think this is... Uh, maybe this is the way to beat Duke Fisher on. I was going to say... Hallowed set might be better before as well. Let's make one of those. I want to compare it. Uh, hallowed headgear? No. Hallowed helmet. 47 range damage. 46. 25 crit. 21 crit. I guess... It's probably slightly higher DPS with this. Um, and we gain a no sail, a, a, a take no damage. But we have to use up a slot on the shield. But I was struggling to f figure out how to fill out one more slot anyway. The other thing I wanted to try... Oh, I definitely want to fish up Toxic Carp. Let's go do that. Where am I going to fish it up? Probably here? We do not have a good fishing spot in the Crimson. Maybe I should fix that. How far deep does this go? Oh, is that... The jungle getting taken over by the crimson. I should probably do something about that as well. Um, can I use the contaminator? Nice and easy. Fantastic. That's probably enough. Where is our steampunker? Down we go. Feels weird without double jump. I didn't buy the contaminator yet, right? Probably. What is that? Logic gate lamp on. Huh. Alright. Um, I definitely want to take a... Ammo reservation potion. I could put the crystal set... Oh, this is already saving us ammo, right? No, this set doesn't save us any ammo. That's weird. Alright, Crystal Assassin, you're up. Reduce ammo usage by 10%. Where am I going? The edge of the jungle. Uh, which is closer? Probably from here. Reservation Potion, Contaminator, and 
turn this blue. That should hopefully be way more than enough, actually. I don't know, it depends what's under the ground. But in theory, that'll stop the crimson from spreading into the jungle. What about on the other side? There's nothing to worry about on the other side. Alright, the other thing I wanted to do is make a crimson fishing spot. Uh, can we teleport down here yet? Yes, finally. Alright, have your stupid bombs back. And give me lots of wet bombs. Actually. Should I use... Um... Oh, give me more endurance potions. With that nice, easy to obtain money. You should probably shut the door. I can make sensors that trigger at night time. No, it's like... It doesn't matter if it's night time down here. Anyway, I want to go somewhere... I could block this up. I don't really want to. Probably here or here. No, I want it to be close to a town. I could dig down here a bit. To make a fishing spot. That seems good, actually. So let's say, like this, get out of here trees, mining potions. Medium stats. That'll do. I only need enough for 300 tiles of water, but let's try and make it look nice and smooth. Interesting how the pixies get stuck there. Oh, my inventory is that full. Yikes. Well, we can come back here quite quickly. Fantastic. And water box? On the other hand, if we fish underwater deep enough in the crimson, we can basically fish two biomes at once. Oh well. That should be more than enough. Alright, let's head back. Uh, let's stack things away. Put this here for now. There's another type of set of hallowed armor that's actually different this time as well. I think we need a crimson altar to make it. I want to get that built as well. I guess built isn't quite the right wording. This can go here. Where should I put the contaminator? Let's put it in ranged for the moment. Since ranged is how we save ammo for it. 
green mushroom. Get in there. Wet bomb. Uh, that's a lot of stuff. But I think we can quick stack most of it. Strange plant. Reflective copper dye. That is... That is what that is. I don't love the look of it. Let's put that in the chest for fancy dyes. Is this silt? Yes, it is. Fantastic. Uh, I think I've got active stone blocks over here. Loot, quick stack. Um, how many star cloaks do we have? Lots. I've already made the mana cloak and the star veil. Bee cloak is kind of a meme. I guess if you wanted to maximize the number of bees that come out whenever you get hit, you could use that on top of the other things. What is this? Universal Genesis gun requires three star cloaks. That's a little different. Okay. Um... I'm going to put geysers over here just so that they go away by quick stacking in the future. Whoops, whoops, and furthermore, whoops. Magic uh, dagger, get out of here. When did I get two gold chests? How about we put those here? And I don't know what this even is. Let's get that over there. Loot, quick stack. What is that? Fungal carapace. Nice. So we have one more piece of this monstrosity. I've actually got these first three, and then there's giant tortoise shell. Rover drive we've got. Depth cells, I don't know. Lumeril, I don't know. Tenebrous, I don't know. Mollusk cask, I don't know. Okay. All right, let's, uh... Oh, and we got Abigail's flower. Don't know when that happened. Shove that in summoning. Don't need another wizard hat. Uh, don't need yet another plasma rod. Fungal carapace can go in here. And I think we cleaned out our inventory. All right, I would like to get... Oh, wait, we need the corruption, I think. Again, I was going to say I would like to fish up Toxicarp. That's one of my favorites for early hard mode. It spits out bubbles that count as range damage. Um... And they don't cost any ammo. And the DPS is on par with Mega Shark. And it's very, very good at blocking things like bats. Uh, this is just stuff you can craft. Seed. Corrupt seeds. Uh, doesn't blue mean we can buy it? Loot. How do we obtain it? Lantera Seedling. Alright, Seed Drop NPCs. The Hive Mind and Eye of Cthulhu. Well, that's... We would have to have a Corrupt World already. Um, double left click. Unholy water. That's just something we can make this out of. Okay. Alright, this is something I do want spoiled. Can we get corruption, and if so, how? 
artificial corruption by Actually, let me double check with vanilla terraria. Um, seeds, corrupt seeds, corrupt seeds purchased from the dryad during the blood moon in worlds with corruption or in a hard mode graveyard. Ah, oh, that's what I was forgetting. So this isn't. Uh, this isn't something that's different in Calamity. I need some more gravestones. I'm perfectly willing to manufacture some. Uh, and I need to go to the Dryad. Where is it? Hard Mode Graveyard. In Worlds with Crimson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Completely forgot about the graveyard biome. Yeah, it's sneaky. Alright. Um, we've got... I believe this is all of our gravestones, or at least all of the ones that I've... tracked down. Let's double check over here. That's a cross statue. Um, all right. I'm glad I checked the vanilla wiki. I might have been about to spoil something for myself for no reason. For calamity. And I guess we'll just... I guess we'll just... Take a little tumble. We I'm pretty sure speed doesn't matter it's only d the the brain of confusion saved us Normally I would appreciate that Uh but yeah I'm pretty sure velocity what oh 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 That's not going to summon aliens, is it? Uh, velocity doesn't actually matter with fall damage. Um, I fell down the elevator once. A long, long, long way. I was, like, deliberately falling. I, I, I knew I didn't have fall protection, but I was... My plan was, you know, to grapple at the last second or something. Is this space elevator? <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. Uh, my plan was to grapple at the last minute, but I collided with a bat. And I bounced off the bat as you normally do. And ever so gently touched the ground afterwards and took, I don't know, 2,000 fall damage. Maybe three or 4,000. Um, because it's actually just distance that matters. It doesn't matter how softly you touch the ground. Actually, let's check if we have... I want to know exactly how many uh, gravestones we need. Oh, and I probably should make sure I pick these up as I go. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How is this still not a graveyard biome? Alright. Why don't I leave these out here? Oh, eight. Still not going grey. Maybe you need space, need to space them more? Nah, I've done that before. I, I've like made, instead of having a specified graveyard biome, I just put grave, uh, gravestones down when I need a graveyard biome. Nicely placed. Urgh. Let me up. How far do I have to go to die from this? How about we go just so that everything is off-screen on the map? 
Oh yeah, that does it. What's our max life? 400. So this'll... This'll be more than enough, I think. Death percent speedrun. No, I messed it up. Okay. So hard to jump. Yeah. I got a double tap. We. Oh, the mount actually saves us from fall damage, even if we don't use the wings. I wonder if the slime mount does that. Okay, we have to find out. Um, where did I put it? Over here somewhere. Or did I sell it? I probably sold it. I didn't think I would have a use for the slime mount again. The, the regular slime mount. Hmm. Okay. That still kills us. So it's not like having the wings out for a second is like tapping rocket boots or something. How many gravestones do we have now? Um, four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I'm gonna try over here where we can put them all next to each other. Urgh. Six, seven, eight, nine. Something is wrong. I'm pretty sure this would be more than enough normally. We should definitely see the screen going grey by now. I'm just gonna check something real quick. Graveyard. So let me just check in vanilla. It's called Hard Mood Graveyard. Okay. Why is there no search result for Graveyard with the Calamity mod? Surely they didn't, like, remove it. What does Vanilla Wiki have to say about how many tombstones we need? Five or more tombstones are in close proximity of the player. You're kidding. Uh, NPC vendors have unique trades there, and the Ecto Mist on the ground enables unique crafting recipes for the player. These functional effects are only active with seven or more tombstones nearby. As more tombstones are added, the graveyard's visual effects grow stronger, colors desaturate, lightning randomly strikes in the background, and ectomist accumulates. So seven is supposed to be like our peak. Um... I'm not seeing the clothier selling, like, black umbrellas and stuff. If I die to Calamity 100 times, I saw it a lot. Only a certain type of gravestone works for that? Really? I mean, I've got five of... I've got five grey ones. This is weird.
I'm not a fan of this. Give me my corruption seeds. Let's try in vain putting them close together here. I don't think that's going to make any difference whatsoever. Oops. Four, five, six, seven. I think it has to be at night as well with the uh, seeds. No, it's just graveyard. Some called headstones. Let me just check the wiki text again. Five or more tombstones. It's got a link. It's everything from grave marker to golden gravestone. Yeah, it doesn't matter which ones. I... I don't know what's going on. Whether Calamity just disables... It would be very weird if Calamity disabled the, um... The graveyard. Don't we need the graveyard to get Onyx Blaster? Or am I thinking of... Probably the quad-barreled shotgun. They have to be Tombstone. According to the wiki, everything counts as Tombstone. Like, these are subtypes of Tombstone. Material? What? Uh... Fascinating. Mithril, Anvil, any Tombstone. <laughs> Bone, Cursed Flame, and Souls of Fright makes great Grave Grim Reaver. Cute. Alright, well, I might experiment with that some more off stream, perhaps. In Calamity, you need 20? Really? Well,. If, if you're trolling, good troll. I'm going to try it anyway. We got 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13? Did I miscount? 3, 6, 10, 13. Alright. 7 more to go. It's worth the experiment. Splat. Or a Reddit post. Alright. Six to go. Come to think of it, I could probably use the slime mount to get up faster. Alright. Death percent. Go. Up. And down. And no. What about this? Close? I have to stop flying up here, and then... no? How did I do it? I don't actually understand how the flight and fall damage mechanics works there. What are we up to? Five to go, I think? Ten plus three, four, five, yeah. Oops. I saw it myself when I die a lot. Okay. We... Three to go. The way the blood just keeps going through the ground at the same speed. Alright, last one. 
we hope. Atroxcatus, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, I'm gonna go straight to the actual purpose of all of this. To try putting on our... Where is... Oh, I think I know where the Brain of Confusion went. Yeah, here it is. Got quick stacked. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Actually, that's going to block us. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. We've got five to go still. Seventeen. Where am I going to put the rest of them? Eighteen. Nineteen. Oh. Twenty. Twenty-one. We did it. Why are they in the water? It's late enough that they'll teleport. There we go. Corrupt seeds. We did it. We actually got there. Is there anything else I want while we're at it? 500. That should be enough. I don't want to have to do this again. Um... Sunken water fountain, abyss water fountain, astral water fountain. What about these two? Why why did you open the door? There's a murder tortoise out there. Don't you see? Alright. This'll do for now. Let's pick up our gravestones. Get frostbitten. Gimme, gimme. Why would they change it to 20, though? <laughs> like, what does that accomplish? Alright. Oh, and I almost missed these ones. Okay. Away we go. Let's put these away. Thank you for your service, tombstones. <gasps> we got giant tortoise shells. 14 defense. Immunity to armor crunch? Isn't that when we lose defense? Cause later, later you die a lot. Yeah. Noobs get overrun easily in graveyards. Eh. I've seen it rough some players up. Okay. Trapper bulb. Intriguing. Alright, too much information. Let's put this aside for now. I'm excited about tortoise shells. In and of itself, uh, very interesting. It gives you thorns. It, the, does the thorns effect stack with other things, like the crab thingamajig? 14 defense. And is Armor Crunch that thing that appears up here that presumably lowers your defense? You can turn it into a turtle shell? Huh. I wonder if they just drop these instead now. Okay, um, but yeah, this was what I was interested in. 
We've now got everything except probably depth cells, luminal, lum, luminal, tenebris, and maybe mollusk husk. So we've got all the accessories that go into that thing. Where should I put trapper bulb? Alright, what does it go into? Honey dew. Increased damage reduction, 9 defense, life regen while in the jungle. Honey, like life regen with no speed penalty, poison and venom immunity. Most bee slash hornet enemies and projectiles do 75% damage. Okay. Miracle fruit. Permanently increases max life by 25. Refreshing, cool, and perhaps even a bit minty. Can only be used if the max amount of life fruit has been consumed. Oh. Regen life quickly while not moving. Five times as strong during daytime. Dropped hearts heal more HP. Interesting. And I could actually do whatever this is. Porter bulb. Summons Plantera when used in the jungle. Okay, never mind. I mean, we'll do that at some point, but I'm not exactly excited about it right this instant. All right, let's put that in with Hard Mood Calamity stuff. And where are we going to build our corruption biome? I was actually earlier thinking of putting it here so we could have Corrupt Desert. Um... We could do corrupt or hallowed fishing right here. And we could also have regular corruption here. I definitely want an underground corruption biome somewhere. This whole area is completely un... What's the word I'm looking for? Untouched. How's that? I think I'd like to have it nice and close to the cavern pylon. But far enough away, it should already be far enough away so that this won't cause an issue. So probably... Probably like here-ish. And we'll have our little baby corruption biome here, maybe. I definitely don't want... I want to keep this area not next to a spreading biome. It seems like this doesn't spread or just doesn't have the conditions to spread. Maybe keep this as is. I don't want to put corruption next to the jungle. Uh, yeah, I think this is really the only spot. Okay. Can we use this to make... Oh. Ebon sand block. I don't have that. Alright. So the only way we can spread the corruption right now is just literally planting seeds. Let's do that over here. And I think I will... I need to have a look down there. I, I went through here and made sure the gap was like six tiles at least. I think I should probably do the same thing down there. Before I spread the corruption. But if Hallo, if Hallo isn't jumping this gap, then it should be safe? Question mark. Oh, I just saw it spread. Yeah, I'm not sh not so sure about that. I could dig some of this sand below. 
as opposed to above. I always use floating islands for this stuff unless we need underground. Um, I'll definitely put underground down here, but we don't really have any floating islands that are particularly convenient. Eh, I want fishing as well anyway. Besides, we've got the tree containing things, we've got the hollow containing things on the right. As long as I do this part right, it should be fine. Whoops. The Dasher, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Also, King Fnob, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Also, and I think I'll dig away some of this. Just, I mean, it's dirt. Actually, it won't spread it. But up here, perhaps, just to be safe. And definitely this. Let's just dig up as far as we can reach. And definitely this corner here. That should probably be fine. Forgot I was wearing frost armor. Love it. Look at that light. Beautiful. Especially with the uh, uh, crystal bullets bouncing off. Uh, let's use slime mount. That's probably a bit better. Alright, so I've removed... No, I haven't. I am removing... Sunflowers over here. And we're just gonna take some dirt and put in dropped seeds. I don't know if I'll have a way to get uh, Clentaminator ammo for corruption. But worst case, I can make like half of this default biome again. So that we can have a little corrupt desert. Maybe I could make this. I, I would like the corruption and hello be divided exactly in half right here. So that depending on which side you stand, it counts as a different biome for fishing. Light shard already. Nice. That actually goes into quite a few things. Almost all of them because of Calamity. That right there, missing at short range on a tiny target, is exactly what the uh, Toxic Cup is excellent at not doing. Light Shard again. Fantastic. How many do we need? Gower Power is one. Sky Fracture is two. Sky Fracture is, like, bad, but it's a material now. Or is that... For making... Yeah, no, it makes some Calamity stuff, so we definitely want to try that. Um, this takes three, so we're up to six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Is theoretically all we could ever need? But it's all, like, rogue stuff. I'm not particularly interested in rogue on the first playthrough. So probably we've almost got all the light shards we want already. 
Although, the hallow itself I haven't farmed that much yet. Oops. Do I have... I should really have uh, battle potions in the piggy bank. They're not in here, are they? Oh, they are. Fantastic. probably be doing some hallowed fishing while I'm here. Uh, let's drop the shield, I guess. And grab some bait. Master, because... Uh-oh. 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 Too much. Nope. Hey! We get the sharks here as well. Well, that's nice. How about we make it so that we can see them? That seems good. How about we get our Shield of Cthulhu back, because I don't think we're fishing under these circumstances. Hello. Uh, okay. Alright, alright. Okay. You still have way too many hit points, even when I'm using Mega Shark. And, like, decent DPS with it. Yeah. Did the sandstorm stop already? That went as quickly as it came. Literally only time to get one uh, forbidden fragment. Let's try some fishing. Greetings, arenaless master mortals. Welcome, welcome. Alceris, hope you're doing well. I know they're just, um... Oh, come on. I know they're just mummies, but... The, uh, the number of them is making it a bit hard do the fishing things. Alright, we got Master Bait, we got Rod, we got Angler Earring. I'm not going to take off my armor for this. I might, however, Fishing Potion, Sonar Potion, Crate Potion. Water walking is so handy. Master bait? Yeah, it's the best bait. Well, there's other bait that's 50% bait power, but this is what you can get most consistently, usually as a reward from the angler for fishing quests. So there's, uh... You see, there's apprentice bait, and then journeyman bait, so naturally the top tier is called master bait. Perfectly normal. I 
I almost misheard it. What do you mean? Uh, PHL streams. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How did I... I was going to say, how did I get all this sand? And then I remembered. Alright. Ultimate fishing challenge. Ignore this guy. That's actually easier than expected. What's there to master a... What's there to miss here about Master Bait? Yes. Prismite! Although I'm less excited about Prismite because we can just use blood... What are they called? Blood orbs? Uh, for making a lot of the... more annoying to farm potions. We can use the princess fish for um, seafood dinners, though. Summoner weapon proficiency leveled up. I'm surprised it still has anywhere left to go. Ooh, fast clock, we need that. Is this your first time playing Calamity? Yes. Real bright. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, that's a little awkward. Let's do some damage. This is actually a really good way to farm two things at once. Although, I don't know that we need to fish Hallow all that much because of the aforementioned... Well, there's two ways actually to get, uh, like, life force potions easily. No, there isn't. Life force specifically, we can't buy it, but most of the potions we can just buy that are normally a bit of a pain to farm. Crystal Serpent. I've never... Maybe it's got an upgrade. Let's have a look. But usually by the time I get this, I'm not very excited about it. 48 magic damage. Yeah, that's... No. Is it a material now? It is not. Always a lot of fun to watch someone play for the first time. Indeed. I love the, uh, like, mods like Calamity or Space Exploration, well, a lot of mods for Factorio. It's like being a newbie again, but not. It is beyond New Game Plus. How's our fishing potion? Still three minutes. Maybe I should do a crate. No, I think it's... Actually, I will do a crate. Let's hurry up. Whoops. 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 Oh, the Blood Moon is rising? Maybe not. Should we try some Blood Moon fishing again? Does it work here? I think it might. Yeah, Hoblock, Hob Hobgoblin Shark. Let's go. I might want to use some buff potions, though. Do we really need it with the Hobgoblin Shark, though? It just takes some time. If we move sensibly, it's not really... ...that big of a deal. Oh, I don't have Dash. That would probably help. Don't tell me... Okay, good. I thought I lost him. He's got a lot of health. 
Oh, is that what I think it is? Uh, we need to capture that. Oh crap, oh crap. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme, 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 gimme. Yes, yes, yes. Prismatic lace wing acquired. Also, I noticed we had no bait? No, we got ten. I must have misread it. Explosive bullets would be kinda nice right now. This thing has a lot of hit points, especially for how fast it is. Oh, hello. This blood moon, though. Uh oh. Alright, what are you dropping for us? I see Chum Bucket. That is not a great drop. Cannon? I thought only clowns dropped that. Or was that... Am I misremembering, or did Vanilla do it different? Absolutely loving the giant stack sizes from Calamity as well. How many bullets we got left? Only 631, actually. Another prismatic. Gimme gimme. Fantastic. I don't think we're ready to attempt the uh Uh the Empress of Light. If we do kill Empress of Light before Duke Fisher on um, it's gonna make the movement part a lot easier. But it really is damage. We don't have enough damage to easily kill Duke. But that's why it's so rewarding to kill Duke. You get such a massive boost of damage. Typically, regardless of... Or almost always, regardless of which drop you get. Am I still under the battle potion? I'm not. The spawn rate here is kind of crazy. halfway through the blood moon. Maybe I should go do something else. Like what? I don't know. Should we try fishing up another monstrosity? Whatever it was, I missed it. Flounder. Another flounder. I'm dodging an awful lot of lasers for flounder. I completely forgot I had this uh, summon, but it is one by one just killing everything. Alright, 
Let's try fishing some more. Oh, hello. Okay, 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 okay. And out of ammo, that's suboptimal. Um, yeah, I don't actually have the endless musket pouch on me because because I decided to just put lots and lots of ammo in one stack. But I never checked on it. So now we're playing mage without mage, I guess. That wasn't a good dodge. Maybe I might even retreat. It could happen. Yeah, that is not a lot of damage compared to our Mega Shark. Alright, let's leave, I guess. Quick stack all the things. Uh, sunflowers can go here, I guess. Rainbow block, of course, goes in building materials. We have 13 light shards. I don't think we'll be needing any more. I'll probably put that in hard mode vanilla. Better movement is a mod consisting of four tweaks to movement physics, each of which can be turned on and off at any moment. Does it make a huge improvement to how the game feels to play, at least in my opinion? I made a similar mod for Starbound, actually. That is a lot of werewolves. Um, first of all... Wait, wait, wait. We've got... We've got some Hellfire arrows. Let's have some fun. Where is... This is from free hard mode, but... Blood Rain, but... No, they disappeared! Oh, you absolute... Oh, it's not a... Oh, here we go. No? It's straight up not an explosive arrow. Huh. Interesting. Well, let's not waste them, I guess. Oh, come back. Come back, we were having so much fun. This is gonna take forever. Like, you may go. Alright, uh, bullets. We need many bullets. Do I really only have 486 musket balls here? Oh, there's 10,000. Okay. What is that? Wolfram Blunderbuss. It's got like a thing under it. I remember finding this before, but why does it have, like, a bar underneath it? Does extra... no? I also made a similar mod for Starbound, nice. I guess the Blood Rainbow has its own projectile that overrides everything else, yeah. Usually when projectiles get overwritten, it's only if... It's using the basic kind of ammo. I guess there's no reason for me to have Endless Quiver on me right now. So let's have Endless Musket Pouch. And... You know what? Just for fun. I was going to make more crystal ammo, but... Let's make... Ex oh, I did not mean to buy f five... Hello, pylons. Rip. Uh, but yeah, let's make some explosive bullets. Empty bullet, go. Fantastic. Oops.
we can make rocket one. Huh. Uh, Landramilia, Scarlet. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Do we need a workbench? Yeah, I think it's the workbench. Okay. Exploding bullet. Fantastic. It's not always the best, but when it is, it's great. And it's just generally fun. To use exploding bullet. I might buy... On the off chance the... Uh, uh, arms dealer dies at an inopportune moment. I'll just buy a few stacks. Okay. How's our corruption going? It is spreading faster than expected, honestly. Alright, cool. Let's go pick up the, whatever we left on the ground here. I also want... Um, can I buy it from here? Where do I get the neutral Plantiminator ammo? Do I need to bring the... Uh, Steampunker into the forest. Spreads the hallow. Handy in case T mod loner won't let you use it in whatever version you're playing. Better movement is open source. Very nice. How's your corruption biome going? Oh, good good timing. <laughs> after Plantera or something like that. What's after Plantera? Consumes Wolfram scrap or silver coins. Indeed. Oh, we got Illuminate Bats. I thought it was a pixie for a second there. Uh, I can hardly be bothered moving... Steampunker. I guess I could go up to a floating island, turn it into a house. What are we missing? Just a light source? Let's do it. Steampunker. Fantastic. I don't remember what her preferences are. Um, I'll put the corrupt seeds over here, I suppose. Or maybe I should put them in with all the other seeds. Alright. Oh, that's a lot. Prismatic Lacewing is a... Oh, it was already always a material. We also got Desert Key. That's nice. Summoning things go in here. That That is to say, boss summoning things. We got four Mithril Crates. Is that the only crates we have? No, there's there's more. Princess fish. Let's make some seafood dinner. Stink fish, get out of here. Oh, I meant to leave at least one. So that we wouldn't lose the quick stack. Uh, princess fish, we've got an odd number. Fantastic. I don't want to spend up city fish, Farron Koi. All right.
Traveling merchant has arrived. Where would he be? What do you got? A cape? Not too excited about that, to be honest. Um, just double check, I do have the life bomb analyzer. Rare creatures. Rare... No, I don't think I have it. Um, alright, let's make sure we grab one or two of those. Oh, I think I do have the REK 3000. It's in a different chest. For some reason. There it is. So how close are we? Um... To the PDA. Oh, we've got everything except the fish finder, of course. I don't suppose we can make it. I mean, we need the pocket guide and the sextant still. What I meant is I don't suppose we can get it without doing way too many fishing quests. Might just put this inside. Quest caught in Sky Lakes, let's go. We've got Sky Lake right up here. Fantastic. Let's get some bait. Let's get fishing gear. Let's get this equipped. And this equipped. And go. What was that? Nope, 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 nope. This is more than I bargained for. Could you stop please? Thank you. Why do I have... Oh, I see. That's not my shadow. There's our fish. Fantastic. Let's get our gear equipped again. And this. And quest. Fantastic. We got a third angler hat? No, a second angler hat. Okay. I don't know when I got six pearlwood crates. So we've got 11 crates. Let's open them. What do we get? Oh, I've got two fast clocks. But yeah, I didn't even really notice what we got from the chests. Couldn't have been that exciting. Quick stacked a bunch of it already. Fast clock. Combines with... You can make it? Lol. Combines with the map to make the plan. Here it is. Anything else? Oh, what's this? Wolfram Digging Turtle? Five gel, three scrap. Throws a rickety mining contraption to dig out a small tunnel in case of emergency. Right click to instantly detonate all of them? I have to see this. How about we go down somewhere where I don't care about messing up the terrain? As is light. How about here? Go. Oh my god, that's... That's amazing and adorable. And I love it. Right click. I guess I have to have one in hand to... To do that. And can I actually fit through here? Not really. Maybe with the... Grappling hook. 
but no, yes, kind of, yes. Have you forgot the bosses that go between each mech? No, I saw that, um, I saw that the list has question marks there. Ooh, so now we can start farming to do a couple of corruption bosses. Probably more importantly, we can get uh, Cursed Flame. Anchor is 141 melee damage. Oh, I was confusing this with the wall anchor. Whoops. Let's just throw that in the melee collection. I don't have a quick stack for this yet. It feels weird not having double jump. Let's empty this. Fish go in here. Crystal Serpent I'll just keep for the collecting. Collector's value. And... Quiet Megaphone combines with... I think we do have one Nazar lying around. Maybe. Or can we hand... No, there it is. Perfect. And a Curse Mantra. Uh, we can make Turtle Shells. I should probably have a separate chest for all these combiny things. In fact, oh, this is the defense. Desert Prowler Pants, what are you doing in here? Uh, okay. Immunity to the Mighty Wind Teeper. I'm just going to throw that in aesthetic stuff. Do I really need this many Amid Dias' sparks? Probably not. KO Cannon, Lamel. Whoops. What does this combine with? I don't think we've found a Bezor. We don't need four bandages. Let's throw a couple of these away. You would stand on top of the merchant right when I'm heading for him. Mummy stuff, I couldn't care less about. It's also extremely easy to obtain. Chocolate chip cookie? I was going to say chocolate chip cookies are material, but that's because it's any food. Uh, I guess that go here. You can get fishing items without fishing in Calamity, but I suppose you won't like... Yeah, no, I don't want spoilers for the most part. Spoiling the fact that it turns out you need 20... Uh, 20 tombstones to get a graveyard. Uh, that I don't mind, for example. But I am trying to figure out as much as possible blind. Gimme... Wait, what? No. Give me you, ladybug. Fantastic. Alright, so what are we doing next? I didn't actually pick this stuff up yet, and we could probably take a look at how our corruption biome is coming along. It's almost done, really. But I don't have a good way to remove the... Um, Oh, that's explosive. I don't have a good way to remove the hello at this point. Oh, it does still do the uh, crossburn despite the explosive damage. Nice. Um, anyway, now that I've picked that stuff up, let's just stack that away. 
When did I get ebon wood? Ebon wood can go in here, I suppose. What's the current plan? Preparing for fish run rematch? I was just thinking about that. I would like to get some... Oh, wait. I should already be able to... No, let me just grab some stone. And we'll make some ebon stone. So that we can easily spread the corruption underground. Right about here. That's probably maybe the slowest way for it to spread. That'll probably do it. Uh, and I'm gonna want... Well, I could do it underground anyway. But I'm gonna want a fishing spot. Specifically for corruption. I could... No, if I fill that with water, it's mostly not gonna count. We do already have Rotten Chunk. Uh, what am I looking for? A thing to summon... Here it is, worm food. We need 10 Rotten Chunk, 20 Vile Powder. That's like 5 mushrooms. Or 4 mushrooms. I've got one. Oh. Oh, Hive Cyst. Uh, sure. Should I grab some more buffs? Nah, it's probably fine. Let's go for it. What's the worst that could happen? Especially when we have a Mega Shark. Ooh, the movement. Is it going to enrage because I just went to the Hallow? Yeah, that's, um... Oh, still alive. That's not the most difficult boss at this stage of the game. What do we get? We got Cursed Flames! Yes, Demonite. Menacing Rotten Brain. 10% increased damage when low life. Low-ish. 5% decreased movement speed when below 50%. Shade raids, rains down when you are hit, and it's a material. Interesting. Um, so, Rotted Brain normally you turn Bloody Worm Tooth into... What's this? Brain of Confusion plus Rotten Brain? Oh? Okay, okay, okay. Let's, um, you know what? Let's, let's hit him again while we've still got buffs. Why not? I should probably make some cursed bullets already, though. What's that? Oh, the hive mind. I love how easy it is to find these cysts. Ow, 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 rude. Fantastic. Uh, let's get that chunk down there as well. Oops, good aim. Once again with feeling. The explosives are actually doing very well because there's all these small things that are spawning on top of it. If you want to keep giving me hive cysts while I've got buffs active. What's our ammo like? 9,000. Hello? 
There you are. The teleporting is rather disconcerting. I think this would... Pr hmm. I want to say that one would be more challenging than the crimson one at an appropriate equipment level. Maybe? We got worm teeth as well. Fantastic. And we have our uh, ebon stone. I'll come back when there's a bit more of it. And I'll also check on this spot here to make absolutely sure the corruption's not going to spread through. Okay. So, menacing rotten brain plus our dear friend brain of confusion. Uh, makes what exactly? Shade rains down when you are hit. You will confuse nearby enemies when you are struck. Wait, it's a downgrade. Oh, you do get 10% increased damage. Period. And it loses the downside from this. It's definitely not worth the one reason that we're using Brain of Confusion, though, which is the dodge. It's not worth losing that. It's still a material. What does it make? The Amalgam. Uh, 15% increased damage, and it doesn't care about your class? Extends the duration of potion buffs by 100%. And they remain active even after you die. <laughs> Shade rains down when you're hit. Nearby enemies get confused. A oh, variety of debuffs when you're hit. Hmm. Well, it is another 15% damage and it's class agnostic. I like that. That's pretty cool. Uh, hive mind mask. Lol. Let's just put that away, shall we? Never speak of it again. Alright, where does the hive mind go in our list of bosses? Hive mind, right after dark mage. Oh, I don't have dark mage. Because dark mage wouldn't drop a, uh, a relic free hard mode. I think it has to be just a random dark mage during a during a longer Eternia Crystal run. So what else? Um, what was I looking for? Dark mage, the hive mind, the perforators. Is this? That's not the perforators, is it? Oh, it is. So it goes before the perforators? No, it goes, yeah, before the perforators. All right, cool. One more boss knocked off our list. Not very hard right now though. Rotten Matter. Filthy Glove. Stealth Strikes, plus 10 armor pen, 10% extra damage. Summons the hive mind when used in the corruption. I've never needed to make the opposite of that. Like, the cysts are so easy to find. Knight's Ray. 31 magic damage. Fires a dark ray. Several new beams from their sides when they get hit. And it's a material. What do we make it out of? Vilethorn, Magic Missile, Wand of Sparking, Amber Staff. Oh, this is like the corrupt version of that crappy Death Ray thing. But maybe this is better? Question mark? Probably not. Shadarian? Shadarian? Oh, Shade Rain stuff. Fires a Shade Storm Cloud that inflicts Shadow Flame. Perfect Dark. Fires a vile ball that sticks sticks to tiles and explodes. Lovely. Shade thrower. 
40 range damage. This is a flamethrower. I think we already have a better one. Wasn't it like rainbow gel or something? Meow thrower. 89 range damage. Yeah, and it's... Let, let, let's see what DPS we get out of this. Just wearing, well, a couple of damage items, but frost gear. Uh, let me put some of this stuff away to make room first. Cursed flame, hell yes. Let's make some cursed bullets. Um, first we need regular bullets. How many can we make right now? 29 times 150. So what, over 2,000? 3,000? What else do I want the Cursed Flames for? Nothing particularly urgent. I could use Cursed Dart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely want some darts. And I'll probably put that in, I don't know, this slot. Just so I can quickly inflict that debuff. When I'm using not cursed bullets, maybe. Anyway, first thing I want is a whole lot of cursed bullets. Let's go 3,000. Let's go even more than that. I want to take them to Duke. So, 26 range damage, and that's before the damage over time. Although the damage over time won't just keep stacking if we're throwing them all at a boss. Let's sell this. Uh, don't sell that. Don't sell that. Don't sell that. Alright, I was going to do a DPS test here. Staunch Meow Thrower. This is rather ideal with the uh, targets, but still. Over 5,000 DPS. <laughs> nice. And it inflicts the... Uh, Frostburn as well. It's probably the way to go as long as we're doing ranged instead of the laser rifle. Let's put that away for the moment. And get this thing re-rolled. Fantastic. I'll keep the plasma rod, keep the sword, unless I get... Oh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I mean, the sword is still... filling the same role, more or less, as Toxic Harp would. Rotten matter. It only makes rogue things. No, that's not true. Alright, let's put it in... It's actually pre-hard mode calamity stuff, isn't it? Corrupt seeds go over here. Demonite bars go here. We're actually out of room. I'll just make a little exception and put it in here. Wormtooth. What do we make out of this? Thorns potion, unholy arrow. Uh, considering how easily I can just buy these things, I'm not terribly excited by that. I'll put the... No, I'll grab the spare brain of confusion. And what else do I need? Uh, three souls of night. Uh, 
was it here or was it the anvil or was it something else entirely amalgamated brain there it is confuse 10 percent damage shade rains down when you are hit and what do we need to upgrade it a lot unholy core mollusk husk sulfuric scale i think we've got those Plague cell canister, no idea. Cosmite bar, no idea. Okay. Just gonna put that in damage for now. Actually, I would kind of have to use this if I'm trying to max out damage. Maybe I should use this against the Duke. Menacing, please. There we go. So that's 14% increased damage. This is 16. But what do we gain? Confuse nearby enemies. That won't do anything. Shade rains down. I need to see this, but it's probably too weak. Well, I could swap it out with the obsidian shield. It's not going to change the number of hits we can survive, more than likely. Knockback can be the difference between life and death, but... We can kind of manage that. Oh, we're almost done here. That is a lot of little things that fall when we take a hit. Oh, it's on a cooldown, I think. Or it's random? No, I don't think so. Dodge cooldown is not what I'm looking for. We've got two brains of confusion, so it's making two little icons like that. I'm trying to get him killed by the... It's very weak. Yeah, the stuff that rains down is super weak. Probably shouldn't be wasting my cursed bullets. Alright. But this way we get our damage all the way up to 52. armor am I on? 90? Crystal armor would put me on... 83. And we get less damage. Except I could... If I had another slot, I could... If I had another damage dealing slot, I could put it in there. But then, like... I'm also losing defense. We're a little slower with the frost gear, but I think it's probably... This might be the loadout. Might. We've got... Considering how glass cannon... Glass cannon we're going, we've got an awful lot of defense. Uh, maybe I should... Uh, let's see. What's the difference in damage? 52 goes down to 51. Crit is 27 or 23. This is better. Frostburn isn't gonna, like, add up to what we need. This is definitely the loadout for the boss fight. So we've got two... Uh... Basically two separate parallel cooldowns on just straight up not taking damage. We've got one, two, three damage dealing accessories. And we've got a dash. That's pretty much it. We don't have knockback immunity, but maybe we can just 
make do without it. Uh, where am I putting Rotten Chunk? It's potion ingredient, I believe. Yeah, we can make Battle Potion or Lasagna with it. Corrupt Flask. Vanity Slots. Material. 4% increased damage reduction. 6 defense while in the Corruption. Okay. Let's stack this stuff away for now. And what's this? Perfect Dark. I forgot about that. There is in here. Um, before I worry about getting all the buffs together, let's go get ourselves some worms. Through here. Best. Oh, and I got rid of my summon thingy. Whoops. How much damage does that do? About 200? It's not that much. Although for one shot... I don't know, is it even worth switching? When we're fighting a boss with that. Now that we've got the Mega Shark. Oh, this works underwater. Interesting. Alright, so we're looking for, once again... Uh, what's that little worm called again? Why am I blanking on that today? Definitely not ideal, like no crystal ammo or something for spelunking. I just can't be bothered switching gear again. How about we look down here for the truffle worm, that's it. That's right, I wanted to check what uh, the other hallowed set is like. Alright, once we get a truffle worm, that's our next step. If we can get a truffle worm. much easier to find a truffle worm. Can we dig up here? That might be convenient in future. As is light. Make a circuit. It'll be better for the spawns. Does it count as a monster like the prismatic lacewing? Maybe I should use a water candle or a I was going to say a battle potion, that's maybe a bit much. We can get souls of light here, that's nice. Oh, there he is, there he is. Do not mess this up. There we go. Fantastic. I might put a... If I put the water candle down there where there's already a bench, I don't think it's going to reach us here. I could be wrong. We've got plenty... Uh, 
Uh, wrong thing. Here we go. Water candle. Fantastic. Alright, let's go make the other version of the hallowed armor. We've got 36 hallowed bars, actually. So we've got the version called plate mail, hallowed greaves. Uh, let's show it to the guide, that might be easier. Are the other ones also hallowed greaves? Does it matter? No, ancient hallowed greaves. Ancient hallowed, ancient, ancient. So it's also the helmets. I might have to have a whole other set to really see the difference. So we need 30 plus, we need 54. I could maybe kill some mech bosses for a warm up. We've got great damage. I think, uh, what, who, whose souls do we have the least of? Just the destroyer. I don't have a good, oh, I have the meow thrower. I think this will work just fine. All right, we don't need, uh, magic potions right now. I'll put those back in the safe rather than down where the mage stuff is. Let's quick stack this stuff away. Um, this goes in here. Spore, bat, banner goes in banners. Oh, I didn't open these yet. Shade thrower. That's a lot of demonite bars. That's a lot of... How much was that? 87 more Cursed Flame. Fantastic. That's actually a ton. Um, Rot Ball? Rogue Damage. We can get these whenever we like. I'll just sell them. Maybe not the Rot Balls. Just stash those away. What's this? Filthy Glove. That's also rogue things. The Hive Mind. A hive of clustered microbial infected flesh. I do not believe killing it will lessen the corruption here. Too late. Let's sell all this. What time is it? Oh, it's getting late. I think we do have the deeps to, like, delete the destroyer, though. Um, do I need a grab potion? Maybe. All this other stuff. More deeps. Not Inferno. Wrath. Rage. I do see you. Go away, please. And that's about it, actually. Okay. Uh, let's try. I want to see. Alright. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's some damage. Those are some damages. What do we got? Two minutes? We can probably do it. That was almost too greedy. Oh, there you are. Uh, okay, okay. It's fine. We didn't actually take damage. You sneaky, sneaky worm. I should probably pay attention to that little display down the bottom. There we go. Where are you coming from? We got one minute. We gotta maximize deeps here. I think we got him. I think we got him. 
We got him. Fantastic. Alright, where's his treasure? Here it is. Nice. That is a lot of damage. Look at that. It's so easy to use. I need, like, three more, no, two more of those vile mushrooms. Corruption is, in fact, stopped dead in its tracks. There's some stone down there, but I don't know if it can reach. But it can only jump to, like, nothing, actually. Should be fine. We've only got 4,500 gel left. Okay. Give me that hallowed bar. Squids. Alright. Put those away. Destroy a trophy? Sure. Um, sell this. More to the point, how many hallowed bars do we have? 56? Isn't that exactly the number we need for the ancient hallowed set? Uh, let's see, 12 plus 18 is 30, and 24. 54. Fantastic. And we need to go to Crimson Altar. Alright, I want to see the difference. Also, whether we can mit uh, mix and match. Which I'm thinking probably not. Ooh, we're in that biome now. I should probably hurry up then. What is that? Whatever it is, I don't think it's friendly. We do get stardust out of it. Okay, let's get out of this biome and get ready to craft what we need to craft as soon as... Give me that. As soon as I touch this uh, altar. Ancient hallowed plate mail, ancient hallowed greaves, and was it hood? No. Headgear? No. Helmet. There we go. Alright, so damage is 50 and 25 crit versus 50 and 25 crit. No change whatsoever. Defense, 85 to 80. We lose 5 defense. What do we get for it? Um, 9 defense, 9 defense, 15% range damage, 8% increased range crit strike. The set bonus doesn't seem to change if we, if we mix and match. I think it's just the plate mail, maybe? 15 defense versus 18. 13, 11, 9, nine. Wait, so does that mean I can just... Well, first of all, what's the set bonus difference? Become immune after striking an enemy. Why do they have different defense values? 9, 18, 13, 9, 15, 11. What? Movement speed? 7% increased damage, 8% increased movement speed. There's no difference except for the defense? Do they get upgraded into different things? Angelic Alliance? Uh... What? 
Isn't the ancient set craftable earlier? I don't think so. Oh. We need a mithril anvil? You should have mithril anvil by then. Matrim, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, well... I guess... The headset is, like, aesthetic choice, although it literally makes no difference if we have a... something in the vanity slot. Hallowed, 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 sure. Yeah, that's, um... That's a weird one. Ancient stuff is just classic sprites, or at least they're supposed to be. Yeah, I'm pretty sure in vanilla, um, they're exactly the same, stat-wise. Which is why I was so curious as to why they're different here. I thought this would be a higher damage version or something. Uh, what am I doing? The Destroyer. Oh, we already did the Destroyer. Derp. Alright, one more try on Duke Fisher on before we go. Where's our... Oh. How did you get up there? Wait. Oh, no. No? We're fine, actually. How did you get here? Nobody died, apparently. Whatever. Defiled flame die. Probably mod changed one and forgot the other. Maybe. Sell this. Um. All right. It's Duke time. We've got truffle worm. We've got. How do I only have seventy-seven defense? Did a buff wear off? Hallowed, hallowed, hallowed. 9, 18, 13. Okay, so this is the better version. I'm thinking a buff wore off. That's what I... That's why I had 90 defense earlier. We got Iron Skin, Regen, Life Force, Endurance, uh, Inferno, Rage, and Wrath. I don't think it's worth bothering with the Featherfall. Um, mana, we're not using mana. I, I could squeeze out like two more damage from the Plasma Rod. I don't think it's worth even switching to the Plasma Rod to be honest. Let's make sure we get even more Cursed Bullets since we have so much Shadow Flame after so little murdering. I'm actually loving how quickly we can get... Sh uh, did I say Shadow Flame? I meant Cursed Flames. Cursed Bullets go... Brr, let's leave like 30. Oh, and that is a whole stack. Fantastic. Let's put this in here. And this as well. Uh, flip a potion in case we dip into the water. We don't want to lose all of our speed. Grav potion, of course. Heart reach, I don't think is going to help. Titan doesn't do anything. Summon isn't really going to do anything, although I should. Grab these two. Thorns, sure, why not? Actually, he hits so hard, eh, it's still going to be like a sliver of a fraction of a dot of his health. Uh, we've already got potions of omniscience. I think that's pretty much everything, right? We've got the Yarim Stimulus. There's probably some Calamity buff potion I'm forgetting, or two. 
5% increased jump speed, 25 extra blocks of falling. Increased jump height? I mean, if it makes us jump slightly faster. I don't, I don't know. We're just going to be falling most of the time. Okay. Cadence is grace. Life regen and heart pickup range. Regen potion and life force potion buffs are disabled. Uh, it's stronger by the look of it. Maybe I should... I mean, I don't know that the regen is stronger. But probably. Calcium potion of omniscience, shadow potion. Disappear while not attacking. Well, that probably won't work on a boss. Sulfur skin potion. Oh, I'll have to remember that when I'm going back to the uh, sulfuric waters. Tesla potion? Reduced on buses, probably worthless. Enemy contact damage is reduced. The lower their health, the more it is reduced. Okay, if that works, we have to try it. Um, because if that, it's only four minutes. Yikes! We're probably gonna have to like waste the first one. Um, if that works at all then the most dangerous part of Duke Fisheron is going to do... is going to become way less dangerous. Theoretically. Because it's only when Duke is on, like, 2% health that he gets really, really dangerous. Uh, we've got stimulants. I could probably top up on them. Oh, they're expensive. Wait, there's probably another way to make those. I should have checked. Uh, did web ball lol. Uh, what's this? Detect you in the in the abyss. I need to remember to check these things when I go back to the abyss. Luck doesn't do anything in combat. We've got potions of return. Um, I think that's probably everything. Yeah. Oh, no, we've got thorns. Alright, that's it. No more stalling. Re up our buffs. Grab our. We've got the truffle worm. And. Check our equipment. And begin. I'm glad I didn't uh, have my ammo in the wrong slot. That would be bad. Come to think of it, Oh, whoops. That could have been bad. Come to think of it, if both of my attacks deal damage over time, then we're getting a little value boost as we switch from one weapon to the other. So far, so easy. Of course, this is the easy part. This is the warm-up. I should probably be concentrating more on getting the rotation down, swapping vertical directions. Not to mention awareness of his uh, I, I wanted to say whirlwinds. 
Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh, okay. Okay. That came out of nowhere. I think we just spent both of our uh, not take damage things. Where is he? Let's not go all the way into space, otherwise we'll get stuck. That was bad, actually. I can hear that I'm hitting him. This is not good. Ow. We used our no sail again, I think. I not have... oh, there we go. Inferno Potion, I was gonna say. I'm sure I drank buff potions earlier. I should probably get rid of the, um, water candle next time, because it's taking up a slot. I'm pretty sure you only get the, what is it, 20? Up to 20 buffs. When you use the B. Yeah, we just got another buff. Potion. Whoops, 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 whoops. What is that called? I want to find out what the name of that effect is next time. But maybe not in the middle of a boss fight with Duke. This tornado is not helping. Whirlpool. That's what that's the word I'm looking for. Oh, sneaky. Alright, it's going pretty smoothly so far. All of the hits that we've taken have been no-sailed. That was close. Oh, that's bad. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're not fine. That's bad. Let's not go into space. not leave the ocean biome. We're almost at the final phase with no actual damage. Let's rebuff in case we're missing anything. I'm not actually feeling him getting faster Remind chasing me this time. Is a slow and Probably because I'm not using uh, Featherfall. Alright, the fun part begins. Oh, that's the water. Oh crap, oh crap. Okay, okay. And fall. That's not good. We're almost there though. I need to fall up. Okay. I don't know my altitude. I can't see anything. Hey, why does he have so much health? Oh my god. Come on. Come on. Up we go. No, not like that. Oh god. I lose track of... So I don't know where I am and I don't know when I need to be ready to swap. When everything goes blue like that. What can I do about it? Sheer timing? Probably learn to look at the surface display. Having to glance top right all the time like that during the hardest part is not great. But it's better than running out of space at the worst possible moment. Aziz Light! Aziz Light, indeed. It's, when you have gear later on, you can literally delete him before he does anything in his final phase. 
Uh, and before that, it takes like a few seconds. But like, pre Duke Fisher on gear, it is so much damage to try and get on him at that last phase. Add a marker torch when you're getting close to the bottom. Yeah, I was thinking if I put some torches on these trees, that's not an arena, is it? As long as I don't leave the ocean biome, he's not going to enrage. How far post -mech, mech bosses are you? You might be finding finding him a bit early. Yeah. Uh, I like to kill him early because we get spells and weapons that are just just lovely. It 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 it, it makes a section of the game hard earned overpowered fun. Let's put it that way. Oxy game tomorrow, right? Yeah. This was just an exception because I've had enough stress for the last couple of days. I wanted to... Uh, oxygen not included is the kind of fun that can be stressful, let's put it that way. Bolu Knight, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. But yeah, I think we'll wrap it up there for today. Um, probably the next time... I might do a little bit off stream, like just spread the corruption here and maybe get Toxicarp, get the corruption over to like halfway through this pond. Not sure what else. Um, as usual, I'll do my best to not see or do anything new. Like last time I did bump into this pretty hard mode, but I left. Uh, but yeah, other than that, um, I definitely won't be, like, beating any new bosses off-screen, off screen, off stream rather. Um, that'll be... we'll continue with Duke when we start again next week. I agree about Oxy, it stressed me out so much I dropped it. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's find someone to raid. Uh, preferably Terraria, preferably Calamity. Otherwise, I might just pick someone I'm following. Thanks for the stream. Thanks for hanging out. All right. Uh, I don't see... I don't see anything that smells like calamity. There's actually not a whole lot going on. Hmm... Alright, I think someone's about to do Plantera. Good luck. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Tomorrow we'll continue with Oxygen Not Included, with our recently restarted run, doing things a bit cleaner than last time, bringing experience. Uh, our experience into it. I am playing only as blind as I reasonably can, which uh, many people would say is the worst way to play Oni. And I would not argue with them. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, for now, let's drop in on... D not sure how to pronounce that. Dikifa TV? I don't know. Say hello to him anyway. Actually, let me just check. I, I, I've seen a stream or two where no one could chat. No, this seems fine. All right, let's go. Take care, guys. Come on. Come on.